No, I'm just. <laughs> I see his face. We're clipping it's this. pretty fucking. I'm clipping this. <laughs> uh, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Uh, I was trying to think of something, but <laughs> just looking at him makes me. Laugh. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm bring... <laughs> I'm just happy I bring you joy. And yeah. not stress, you know what I'm saying? It's both. It's both, really. I'm pretty good at both. <laughs> You're pretty good at both. <laughs> Stressing uh, you out with his memes. Yeah, stress. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Not just the memes. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's like, let me put myself you on screen. You guys are so weird. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, welcome back. It's been another week. Yep. That is the amount of time that passes <laughs> between each episode. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> time, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we did a lot this week. Yeah. We, yeah. Got, new, we got a new Bad Batch. Mm-hmm. We got a lot. Two episodes of Bad Batch. Mm-hmm. Uh, spent like four days designing the new Mando collection. Yep. Getting that ordered. Uh, I found my wedding dress. Oh, that's right. You found your wedding Wee. dress. Congrats. Thanks. Congrats. It was uh, not stressful, but just like, that's like one of the most important parts to me, at least, because wow. I love fashion. So I was like, it has to be the perfect dress. I mean, you're also um, the bride, so. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I'm not going to show anyone yet. You have to wait till the wedding, but I'm you really do. excited. You do. No, I, I'm excited. I can't wait to see you in it. I can't wait to see it. I saw like the ones you... Or the other ones you tried because you put them on your on your story. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you look beautiful and all of those. Oh, thank you know, you. You're like, wow. Um, and at the same time, you're like, wow. I hate you. <laughs> oh my God. I walked into that one. Oh, you did. Pretty pretty much. Much. <laughs> what would you do if like Eric goes like his vows or our rehearsal dinner? Is, like, no. Yeah, <laughs> don't give him any ideas oh my god yeah my vows you're I'm like, like wow and at the same time you're like wow i hate you uh, hey you brought this to the show okay this, this, is, is, so deep. this is all on you <laughs> mm-hmm. i'm like the biggest star wars fan <laughs> in the world that's going to be you. Yeah, Your I mean, vows. It's just yeah. going to be you talking about Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> like, so in episode six, when Vader... Jabba the Hutt on Pizza, pizza Hut. <laughs> you just have a soundboard He's up there? He's invited to the yeah. wedding, right? Yeah, of course. Oh. Of course. <laughs> oh. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Yeah. I mean. yeah. <laughs> no, no, not him. Oh, uh, Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt on Pizza Hut. I mean... That'd be fun to have a celebrity at Oh, wow. Right? He's fun, <laughs> but he's, I just got freaking the boot. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah. Um, we we're also doing a lot of wedding shit this week. Yeah, fun, yeah. real fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have an awesome show uh, planned for you guys today. Uh, we'll definitely be we're going to be going over uh, the last two episodes of Bad Batch. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the biggest things we want to do this episode is do our Mando season three predictions because yes. that's coming up very very soon. And by the yeah. time this episode comes out. Um, we'll be like a week, to, no, not a week, like a, two weeks, two out. weeks out yeah. uh, from the premiere of Mando season three. And that's really exciting. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely go over that. We have a bunch of clips, a lot of topics that we want to go over. Uh, and uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, got a really fun show planned. Uh, so I guess let's let's open up the show. Um, and we got some fun. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So, ready? Right. Mother has been forced to block dozens of calls after her ex-partner allegedly took her phone number and plastered it on polls here around the CBD, telling people to call up and impersonate <laughs> Chewbacca oh. for a chance to win $100. My God. This would be the most childish breakup I've ever had. <laughs> like... All you had to do was be mature and go, I don't love you anymore. I want to move on. The calls have been waking her and her three young children up yeah. at odd hours Listen. in the evening, no. and they're yet to stop. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I won five hundred. Well, really strange hours of the night. About oh one o'clock. Oh, until my four God. O'clock, forced to call back the wannabe Wookiees oh and tear down the posters. <laughs> <laughs> that's you. <laughs> Whatever. We're fine. We're all fine yeah. here. Now, thank you. How are you? <laughs> the first one was good. 
I feel like that was just a recording from like the movies. <laughs> that wasn't. was an actual like. Oh, that was good. That was good. The second one sucked. We should add a roar into our intro. Got through our intro. <laughs> you did not clip that. Okay, just so you guys know, it's chewy. What? He has the button for this labeled as meth chewy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very specific. Uh... That one's good. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see that one. Yeah, I hear that one, but. but... That's that's just screaming. <laughs> it's not like a roar. It's that's just someone passing a kidney stone. Yeah. Meth chewy. Oh my god. Yeah. I um. I I've been it. I've been getting more uh, TikToks on my feed lately that match the energy I'm I'm looking. <laughs> You're slowly for. curating this incredible. It's coming together. Page. It's coming together. You um, get really aggressive videos in your for you page i get the shit i don't want to like see. people getting run over by cars people getting shot i get like cop stuff i'm yeah. like i don't want to watch like, any of this like violence like okay violence. you're making this sound way <laughs> worse than it is no it's just like people getting pulled over for shit and i'm like i don't want to watch like this. drunk uh like drunk this tests uh, eric has a sit side so he doesn't want to <laughs> <No>, yeah <laughs> but the algorithm knows the algorithm knows, yeah. knows. Mine is yeah. just like unhinged gay guys giving advice and then like Anakin edits. That's it. That's all I'm here for, yeah. really. I mean, I started getting the, the, um, those, uh, well, I saw them a while ago and I showed you those. Hmm. Uh, but I started getting them again. It's the, uh, the, the guy messing with his, he's like, me, me messing with my sassy brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. What? he's like, I'm gonna start gaslighting you. He's like, don't do that. Why are you going to start gaslighting me? He's like, I didn't say I was going to start gaslighting you. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like... Literally you two. Yeah. It yeah. Sounds like us two. He's like, you just said you were going to start gaslighting <laughs> me. <laughs> and then, no, I didn't. He's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, my God. So uh, I, awesome. I've been keeping up with them because uh, they're hilarious. He, <laughs> he just posted one. He's like, guess who unfollowed us? He's like, who? It's like Selena Gomez. He's like, oh my god, why? He's like, I unfollowed her last week. He's like, why would you do that? He, he's joking. Yeah, he's joking. Yeah. He just loves upsetting him. Yeah, he, that's funny. That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love, love it. That. I lie. <laughs> uh, I lie. But yeah, all right. Mm. So two new episodes of Bad Batch. Yeah. Two new episodes. Did of Did you Bad watch Batch. them? Yeah. Okay. Good. Definitely. Did you actually look at them, or were, yes. was it? He the, listened. Let, to let me put myself on record. Yes, I audio wise and visually <laughs> saw both episodes. Wow, so well, look at you. Hey, he's an improvement. He did his homework. He did his homework. Yeah. Um, wild episodes. Yeah. Yeah, wild. I was not. I knew because it was called Clone Conspiracy that it was going to be dark, but it went even darker than I thought it was going to. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, this. I think this show is significantly darker. <laughs> Like the at least the tone is significantly darker than Clone Wars. Oh, for sure. Right. Yeah. I mean, Clone Wars gets a lot darker later in the season or later in the series mm-hmm. because of the inevitable. Yeah, the progression. Of, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and I like it because this is that time in the timeline where th- this it, this is the era in the timeline where it's the darkest. Yeah. Right. It's the dark times. It's. Post Order sixty six, yeah. post uh, Jedi genocide, post you know not just Jedi. There was an the entire Kaminoan genocide. Well, yeah, you know, like first of all, I did not realize that they killed like all the Kaminoans. Me neither. I I, I thought, thought they, they just like, took blew them up out. the the cloning facilities. I didn't realize that they bombed all there's of like, the major cities. There's like three of them left. Yeah. So I didn't know that. So that. There's Big only rel- three space giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> exactly. You mean Q-tips. 
say. But yeah, there that was that was wild to learn about and yeah. to explore that. Um, uh, Senator Bertoni, uh, the one we see in Clone Wars with Padme's mm-hmm. like, "Fuck you, bitch." Uh, <laughs> uh, it was cool seeing her back. I yeah. tol- I had totally forgotten about her. Me too. Um, and then how she's just like. Well, yeah, I'm like the last one. Like, it's like one what do you want me to do about it? What do you want me to do? Yeah. Um, yeah. Seeing Omega's like reaction and like her oh, emotions yeah. towards it, uh, because yeah, it's it's fucking horrible. Yeah. That's, that was their home. The you know not only that, but the clones don't have a voice. They've never had a voice. Yeah. And now is when it matters. Now it's like okay, you've served your purpose. You've done your duty. I mean, I say serve your purpose because they were created specifically yeah. Yeah. to fight the war. Yeah. But they're living beings. Mm-hmm. They're, they're human. Yeah. You know, even though they're accelerated. They're sentient. They're sentient. They have they're, emotions. They're not droids. They form relationships. Exactly. So yeah. it's, it's... They're not robots. <laughs> no. It's very... It's a very interesting perspective that we've never really seen i think it's incredible how far the clones have come from a storytelling standpoint right because when we see them at the end of attack of the clones yeah they almost say nothing right they've become they've become mindless drones of you know the empire yeah essentially yeah so it's just crazy to me that in episode two, we see them, they look very robotic, like the way they're introduced. They're very like robotic. They, they're not really their own people, right? Like well, their own person. I, I would say more. they are more so like people in episode two than in episode three. Like, because we see them in their, like in the mess hall, we see them like kind of training, you know? Yeah. No, so like... You, and we also see them as kids. Yeah. So we're seeing them, like, we're seeing every stage of them from, like, embryo to to baby to child to young adult to adult. Yeah. Full-on clone trooper. What, what I'm saying is, like, the emotional aspect of it. Like, yes, we see oh. that they're people yeah, and yeah. they're clones, but there's no, like, emotion. We don't get any emotional anything out of them yeah in the movies True. but then in the clone wars it completely changes your perspective oh, yeah, of yeah. who the clones are like you yeah. get to know the clones you get to know like who they are and, and the relationships they form with each other and yeah. with their jedi generals it and humanizes them. Yeah, yeah exactly humanizes it humanizes them, them. And you feel bad when something bad happens to them. You care about these characters. You you don't just see them as like, oh, they're just clones. Yeah. And then going even further now with the Bad Batch, it's like now they're fighting for their rights. Yeah. Like they don't they as, don't have as people. Yeah. They yeah. didn't have any place in the Senate. They don't have any laws well, in yeah, place to thought... take care of them after the war. Yeah. They have they have nothing. So now we've gone on this journey with them for you know, the past since 2008, really with the Clone Wars. Yeah. And we've grown to love these characters just as much as we love all the other ones, right? Yeah. Like you don't feel any less for Rex than you do Ahsoka, right? Yeah. Like you care for them equally. Yeah, exactly. So I just think it's crazy that in the movies, See. it was very like surface level, like, oh yeah, so these are the clones and like they yeah. do what we tell them. Okay, next. And now we've gotten to the point where like they're fighting for their their rights. Yeah, no, that's really cool. That's really like, really cool. And like I remember, I remember kind of like my thought process when I was younger. Yeah. When I first watched the prequels, right, and the and before the Clone Wars, especially before the Clone Wars, it was like the way I saw the clones was yes, they're people, but. I didn't because we didn't we didn't know about the chip we didn't yeah. know yeah, yeah, yeah like any of the backstory yeah right we just knew oh somehow they were made right yeah. um but you know it looked like yeah they were friends with the Jedi and like you know they were good soldiers but they weren't loyal to the Jedi 
they yeah. were loyal to Palpatine. Yeah. That's what it looked like. Mm -hmm. That's that's how like I understood it mm -hmm. as a kid. And um even throughout most of the Clone Wars, it was kind of that, but that's when you kind of started seeing like, oh no, they're a lot more um there's a lot more of a soul in there. Like, yeah. there, there's a soul in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not just a... a like, artificial intelligence. No. Yeah. Exactly. It's not just... They're not mindless. Like, they have feelings. They have emotions. They have, uh, you know, their own needs and wants. You know what I mean? So, but it wasn't until, like, season six of The Clone Wars where... Uh, I think it's season six where it's, like, they find out about the chip... They find mm -hmm. out about, and that, that's when it blew my mind. Yeah. That's when it blew my mind. And I was like, heartbroken. Yeah. Like, heartbroken. It like completely changes. Like, they had no changes. say in it. No, Not just absolutely no them say. following an order, but, like, physically, they yeah. had no say They in had it. no, absolutely no say. Because yeah. in the movies, you don't see them growing attached to their Jedi generals. No. Or the Padawans. Or you don't see that relationship. Or even each other. Or even each other. Like, the, the closest we get is, like... Cody and Obi Wan like being chummy with each other, yeah, like you know? chit chatting. But that's it. Yeah. Um, and then right after that, he shoots him out of the <laughs> yeah, sky. So you're not, you're like. So it's like, uh, yeah, they yeah. weren't that close, I guess. Exactly. So it, it <laughs> yeah. When you Why? see that, <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were homies. I guess. Not. Yeah. So like, you kind of see when you only see that, you kind of think, oh, I guess like it was just like a job for them. Yeah. Like it was just. Yeah, they didn't care. They it didn't matter. Like they didn't, the Jedi didn't matter to them. Um, but yeah, seeing watching the Clone Wars, watching season six, and seeing all that change, I still remember how like I was like, oh my god, it's crazy. Yeah. That that was like, I wouldn't say a plot twist, but that completely changes the way. Yeah, you see Order sixty six, and you see the clones, and yeah. you see like how it affected completely. them because it didn't just affect the jedi completely right it also affected the clones and a lot of the clones that regretted their actions even though they had like they couldn't do anything about it yeah exactly which is an unfortunate side of war that well most yeah. veterans have to deal with well yeah and it's crazy it's it's a crazy thing to explore and dive deep into because yeah. you know obviously i don't want to get into that but like it, it it's it's very interesting and seeing now like the aftermath right seeing yeah. the aftermath of okay well the effects of the chip are starting to wear off mm -hmm. they're starting to realize what we're doing <laughs> something's is wrong. off something's <laughs> off and now seeing like the uh like the hitman like the 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 clone that was essentially oh, yeah, yeah. like uh Bounty hunter. CIA agent yeah. for the Empire, you know what I mean? Taking out his fellow clones yeah. because they're starting to question the Empire and they're starting to be like, well, no, Vocal. we need we need to yeah. do what's right. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So that that was crazy. Yeah. Um the freaking like cyanide pill. That actually oh, scared me. Geez. Like I, I was not expecting that. That was, <laughs> that was intense. Oh. That, that was, was dark. Intense really dark um but i mean like i love it though because that yeah. is exact that i was afraid that they would tone down the dark at the dark side of this era <laughs> yeah um yeah. because well, it's still for know, kids yeah it, i mean it is but that guy just fucking killed himself yeah yeah true you know what i mean um true. so and i mean there were a lot of dark moments and dark episodes and scenes like the scene where Ahsoka decapitates like six Mandalorians at once. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, but you know, the music is like all like, Ooh, you know, yeah. it's like exciting and it's action. <laughs> uh, but so it's like, I also, it, it very much depends yeah. on the music, like yeah, the background yeah, yeah. music. Yeah. But, um, but still like Clone Wars, Clone Wars was very dark, but I still think that Bad Batch is way darker and oh, it yeah. should be yeah. because this is the era that, the the Sith have won. Yeah. yeah. They've taken over the galaxy. Murder, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, so like they, they've taken over the galaxy. Palpatine won. You know. The Jedi are the gone. The Jedi are gone. 
and he, anarchy is exactly, taking over the, like in the out the mid and outer rims are out of control yeah it's the it's the yeah. first time like darth bane's rule of two has finally been played out yeah and they won yeah and they kept it like that for like 25 years yeah so and at, for at least 19 to 20 of those years there was no hope yeah no hope yeah of ever getting better of it ever going back yeah to the way things were people completely forgot about the jedi forgot about the republic you know democracy democracy <laughs> um yeah. and that's what's so beautiful about episode four and the title and you know yeah because the destruction of the death star was the first time anyone in the galaxy had a glimpse of hope yeah since then you yeah know what i mean so i mean we can continue but we're just gonna keep we're just gonna rehash <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. the entire story um but yeah uh i i love the tone um it's very dark it's sad to see you know how it's how it's been how it's getting yeah um but i mean we know how it ends we know how, we, we know what happens but yeah. it's very crazy to see it because i think i mean the only time we've ever seen it like this it's in the comics and the novels you know what i mean mm-hmm. um can we talk about palpatine that's right they've that's been right. hinting Dude. at him literally every episode yeah <laughs> i had a finally feeling. got him he totally pulled uh i told earlier told <laughs> damn blooper no uh he pulled uh dave Chappelle. it's like uh, well we we got the proof and then gotcha bitch he's like <laughs> yeah. he's like i'm gonna twist it and unfortunately like, yeah. that's what palpatine does best because yeah. he's playing both sides so it doesn't matter who wins he just Ooh, yeah. turns it into that's whatever what he, he needs it to be that's what he did the entirety of the clone wars yeah it, everything if yeah. the separatists won <laughs> he was playing chess with himself exactly. yeah literally that meme yeah. exactly he's the pixar uh dude the old guy the old playing guy. chess um but yeah it, it didn't matter he played the game so well it's insane because he literally reacted to it in live like yeah like it happened and then he like came up and he was like so blah 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 and then it was done and they were like he's like right. not even like <laughs> oh let's like you know yeah. come back in, tomorrow and like readjourn yeah. or whatever he was just like Oh, it's, so this happened, and this is gonna happen now, and everyone was like, "Bravo!" We're gonna pass the bill. It was like we're, uh, the new program, right? Stormtroopers and stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. No, and I, well, we also have never seen is Emperor Palpatine in the Senate. Yeah, that to yeah. me was crazy because we've only ever seen him as a Sith Lord on his throne. Yeah, with Vader, mm-hmm. with his, you know, with his posse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> With a squat. With a squat. Yeah. Um, around him, you know, we've never we've never seen him where he spent like the political side. Yeah, the political side. Yeah. Where, I love where he has to maintain like, himself. You know, the Senate. We got like yeah. so many different sides of the Senate, and like just seeing Coruscant in general. Yeah. Like we saw so many unique shots. Yeah. I wasn't oh, expecting yeah, 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 to see yeah. so much of the city. I love. It was I really, love really seeing. Cool. Coruscant and like diving into that because it's yeah. such a crazy planet. Yeah, like the entire planet's a city. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but yeah, and and the Imperial Senate and Palpatine at the Imperial Senate that was insanely cool. I thought we were gonna see that in Andor. Me too. Yeah, and we might still see it in season two. Yeah, but probably. I really wanted to see that. Yeah, I really wanted to see that in live action. Was palpatine in the imperial senate blew my, like that would have blown my yeah. mind I, my mind is still blown just seeing it in bad batch yeah and for like a minute a minute <laughs> yeah um but yeah it pretty much it sums up it pretty much just sums up how he did everything yeah. how he got away with it all because that's exactly how he did everything yeah and and know. it's crazy how like he did like i mean obviously we're not surprised but it's just it's impressive how he can use people like what was the um the military guy's name that was like in charge of the mission uh rampart rampart oh, yeah. the way that he just like 
completely used that guy and then used him as a scapegoat and like yeah. didn't bat an eye. He's like, well, that guy's gonna die. I'm gonna Literally. blame everything on him. No one will think anything of what exactly. I did. Well, yeah, exactly. And uh, no, what do they say? Like no, um, oh my god. There's like no loose loose ends. No loose ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no loose ends. Like exactly. just blame that guy and yeah. execute him and then move on. Exactly. No, yeah, that's it's crazy. It's it's crazy because. I mean, there was no changing it. There was no stopping yeah. it until Luke. Yeah. Until all that. Uh, but yeah, uh, absolutely awesome two episodes. Um, the music was the, really good, Yeah, too. the music was really good. Seeing Rex again yes. was insanely cool. Oh, we didn't talk about how, how Echo's going to go with Rex. Oh, yeah. How it ends. That's right. I had a feeling. Yeah. I had a feeling. I don't know why that when when echo was talking to omega in the ship mm. or like i can't remember where they were but he when they she were was like, meditating yeah yeah when she was meditating by the way she's fucking meditating i yeah she's i think we've talked about this before yeah, but yeah we keep sensitive. seeing things that are hinting that she's force sensitive like it's not it's not a secret anymore <laughs> she's force sensitive uh even if it's slightly yeah a tiny bit it's there yeah um but yeah that as soon as like that scene where they were talking, I was like, I have a feeling some. Well, like- even in the previous episodes, he talked about how he's like, I know we're doing these mercenary missions and everything, but like, we're not really helping people. We're just making money. Yeah, exactly. You know, like Echo wants to be a part of. Well, yeah. Something he's, bigger, he's you know. For the Republic. Yeah. And and that's what Rex is doing. Yeah. Rex is doing exactly what Echo feels like he should be doing. Yeah, like smuggling clones out of whatever situation they're in and like helping them and yeah well we'll giving see giving them hope we'll see what happens with echo i i don't know i have a feeling i have a feeling that whatever happens with the bad batch is gonna be tragic yeah i, I have a feeling it's gonna be like a like a rogue one situation yeah oh, like, uh, a, like a suicide mission kind of either that maybe maybe not all of them but Probably Echo? Like a suicide mission, and they do whatever they do just to keep uh, Omega yeah. safe. Maybe. Something. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 it, just have a I bad don't think feeling. it's gonna it's gonna end well for them. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll see. I I yeah. hope not because I love yeah, them all. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, but we know Dave. We know Dave, and we know he likes to break our hearts. I mean, he just did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with two episodes. Omega saying, "Where where where are you going? Can I go with you?" Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I have a feeling. I don't know exactly how or yeah. what, but I'm Well, I mean, even feel. just physically, like, he has sustained the most. Well, Echo, especially, yes. Yeah, like physical abuse yeah. and mental <laughs> abuse. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I, I'm praying that he makes it out alive, but I, I don't know. We'll see. All I know is that if they go, however they go, it's they're going to go as heroes. And yeah. It's going to be. Yeah. Emotional and beautiful, and we're all gonna sob, and we're gonna be like, "Why? <laughs> Damn you, Dave! Damn you, Dave! But I love you." Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. I think I think that that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over from this last episode or last two episodes. So good. They were amazing. Uh, they were really really good. Uh, yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, how you felt about the episodes. Uh how you felt about Palpatine, where you think Echo and uh, Rex will be, you know, focusing their efforts Mm -hmm. in. Does that mean we, I mean, I guess we don't really know yet if, is he still in contact with Ahsoka? I'm sure they're in contact, but like, is he with her? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, Like what's up there? Yeah. That's what we, that's what I kind of want to know what I want to find out, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, Shoot us an email. Uh, you know where to do that. Budget <laughs> podcast at gmail.com. Yes. Uh, but yeah. Um, moving on. Yes. Um, what does it say? POV, somebody gets the wrong drink in Moss Eisley. Oh, Here we uh... go. Why? 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 Is that the same blue milk? Oh my god. That's funny. Uh, let's watch that again. Oh my god. Why? 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 Why?
जूस बनाए क्या बनाए जूस बनाए No idea. I was searching the comments. I'm like, does anyone know what he's saying? Yeah. No, no idea what he's saying. Nope. Right? And he's the guys like in the that. background are speaking Spanish. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I heard that. And I'm like, no, just put your coat on. So, what are you speaking? <laughs> either this guy is sent. Maybe he's like, completely yeah. sent. It's like slurring his words. Like slurring his words, or it's just a different language. But I don't know. If you guys know what he's saying, please, please let us please know. know. I want to know. Please, please let me favorite. know because. I need to know what this means. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Oh, God. <laughs> you did not. Oh, you already clipped it. You should be like, you should be like, oh, my God. It's sounds like, like a Jabba the Hutt on pizza. Sounds like a Ewok. The second one. Sounds like a Jawa. Yeah. Play it. Like Jawas. You should be like, you should be like. That too. Yeah, yeah, that does. That does sound like Jawas. Sounds like Jawas. I loved it. I love, <laughs> I love this guy. I love this guy. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. Big fan. Um, but, yeah. Um. What's next? Oh, so do we just want to what? Yeah. Did you send stuff in? I, I only in. sent like one you thing in. in. I don't know. Yeah. I thought I had more stuff. But All right. Because I sent a lot of stuff in. So I guess we'll take, let's, see, let's get mind. Silva's stuff out of the uh, way. Go to all the way to the right. Okay. Let's see. So. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the mom has a face mask on. She looks like creepy. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh my God. So she if knows. you're listening. She um, knows. Yeah. I, I, it's either someone's mom or someone's wife and she's <laughs> sitting on the couch relaxing with a towel wrapped on her uh, you know like on her mask, head right? with a face mask and like the face mask is like a shiny ref- like gold yeah. yeah um and i want to say it's the husband the husband comes up yeah. and just uh <laughs> puts his phone up to the camera and shows c3po <laughs> <laughs> and she gets up pissed yeah uh, I love that. That's funny. <laughs> the, right. What else did you send in? Middle one. Okay. Where's your oh my shit? god. All right. There's no music in this, right? No, promise. I have this theory that Pedro Pascal is maybe the easiest person to draw on the planet. If anyone's trying to learn how to draw portraits, start with Pedro Pascal because <laughs> you have to try hard for it to not look like him. I'm trying to draw him with as little marks oh. as possible oh. to see if I can get something that like doesn't look like. My. I'm not even using reference. Oh my god. These are just god. from memory. They're not great drawings, but if you just looked at these and <laughs> someone was like, "Who is this?" You'd be you'd say Pedro Pascal. If you don't think you can draw faces, just try drawing Pedro Pascal. I guarantee you, you're gonna come up with something that looks like him. I love that. Hey, he looks I amazing in that. all of those. So. Yeah. Yo, that's kind of, okay. It's funny, yeah. but um, it's facts. It, I guess it is facts. Yeah. But it's funny because my brother, uh, I, well, yeah. he's been on the podcast before. If you guys want, to, we have a whole episode with him. Yeah. He's hilarious. <laughs> he's older now. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll be talking, and well, we were talking this this last time. He was uh, saying how to insult people like like a, as yeah. a comeback because yeah. he's not like a fighter but yeah. he'll defend himself right yeah. <laughs> but something he'll say to yeah. people is like you look easy to draw <laughs> you look like, you're he looks like every other bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like when he wants to shit on somebody oh, yeah. he's like you look like you're easy to draw <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like they don't know what the fuck to say to them i mean yeah what are you gonna like so no i'm hard to draw so this bitch is just I'm roasting pedro I love oh my it. god that's funny though and then what was this it just means he's iconic topic. yeah we don't need to put this on the screen though okay uh all right so according to the star wars underworld uh john williams is not retiring what? The legendary composer now says he expects to continue working for another 10 years. The greatest decade of a person's life is 90 to 100, so I'll stick around for a while. Wow. Is this real? Apparently, it's a quote from him. That's wow. crazy. I didn't That's say that. Respect, John. <laughs> respect. I, I'm excited. <laughs> That's exciting, honestly. He wants, he wants hey. some more Grammys. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he I, Beyonce, <laughs> scoot over. <laughs> he's like, I'll be dead for the rest of, you know, time. So yeah. I only got 10 more well, years. He's already immortalized, right? By his he life. is. He already yeah. is. Um, awesome. But that's that's pretty crazy. Dude, that's my awesome. mom thought he only did Star Wars. Oh. I was like, Mom, I love you. But, like, he's done almost every iconic, like, soundtrack. She's hilarious. Like, ever. <laughs> you need to record your mom, like, going, like, who's this character? 
We should have her oh, on the podcast yeah. just talking about just that. Just main oh, this character Jesus. and then edit the picture of him with the actual... <laughs> yeah. Well, she well, still doesn't understand that Anakin Skywalker is Darth Vader. Like, she she cannot comprehend it. <laughs> she still calls Chewie the hairy guy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she at least she knows it's who it probably is. Like a, uh, it's, it's probably like a default mechanism. You know how your parents always say, like, whatever console you have is like that Nintendo. Yeah, the Nintendo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like her default. It's just mom stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's... She's hilarious. We'll have her on, like, for the second half of an episode. Yeah. Because I don't think our audience can handle... On a four-hour special, then? (laughs) On a four-hour special. We're talking about... We'll just talk. We got 30 minutes, Georgia. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's Let's do do it. it. Uh, Okay. Real quick, I did want to talk about this. Hmm. I've been seeing a lot. Obviously, you have two. Everyone's been saying these. But it's all the TikToks of, like people that are it's either the sound or they're talking about like take it out of the box take it out of the box oh you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like the the um well, the collectors. Box, we? well it, in the star wars tiktok or star wars community there's a lot of like these videos of um and this is my observation it's <laughs> mostly girls it's mostly girls I've seen like one yeah, guy, it <laughs> but it's mostly girls. Yeah. Back me up on this. No, yeah, like I can confirm. Yeah. yeah. So th- where they're like, they they're holding like a, a Star Wars figure or something, yeah. like, or like a pop, yeah. right? and they're like, take it out of the box, uh-huh. take it out of the, you know. The, like it won't to, kill you. It probably came from like the the makeup side of TikTok. I don't know. I, I I don't think so because they have big collections behind oh, them. Okay. Here's okay. Look. If you're a fan, you're a fucking fan, no matter, right? Yeah. If you're yeah. even, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying at all. Yeah. All I'm saying is you're holding a first order Stormtrooper Black Series figure mm-hmm. or you're holding the newest pop. Yeah. That's and still available and for that's purchase. That's still available for purchase. Yeah. And you're yelling at <laughs> collectors, male or female or other that have power of the force figures or yeah. fucking 30th anniversary figures with the fucking coins still in it. Oh mm-hmm. What you don't realize is I have three of each. <laughs> I have one to open one to look at and one to resell 10 years in the future. Okay. Smart. So Stonks. don't fucking tell me Stonks. how to fucking take it out of the box. I do. And I, I do. don't. You want to see the fucking bins, <laughs> the 10 bins I have God like damn. this filled to the brim with loose figures that I played with my whole life? Yeah. I'll fucking show you. I can confirm, guys. You can barely walk in this place. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is I get it. Yeah. Yeah. But trust me, I've my, been collecting okay. my whole damn life. What I think so funny is they're like, you can't enjoy it if it's in the package. It's like... That's such a damn lie. That's such a lie. Like, who are you to tell someone how they should enjoy collecting? Yeah, they're like, they're like, you can't tell me I'm not a fan. I'm like, well, you can't tell me how to fucking collect. Yeah, like you 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 do you. If you want to keep them or if you want to take them out of the box, do that. But literally, personally, me, I like collecting things like equally for the packaging that I do for the actual item. Yeah, like the packaging is part of it for me. Exactly. Well. Here's the thing. Like, I love the a packaging. Lot of, <laughs> a lot of the newer collectors, right, or the people collecting the newer stuff, the packaging, sorry about it, Hasbro, sorry about it, Disney, Lucasfilm, whatever. It's subpar. It's mid. Yeah. It's mid. It's a black box. And <laughs> the only thing that's different is the name. That's it. Yeah. Have you seen the Legacy Collection? Right. Have you seen any of the Power of the Force packaging have you seen any of the sets that were entire clear boxes and the background was of Jabba's palace is printed on the box and there's an entire stage setting and there were two sets one with the first half of the Max Rebo band and the other (laughs) with the second half of the Max Rebo band and when you fucking put them together they (laughs) built the entire Jabba's fucking (laughs) palace stage okay so so all I'm saying is don't fucking tell (laughs) me to take it out of the goddamn box when you don't even know those fucking exist okay 
<laughs> and guess what? Those were thirty, forty dollars when they first came out, and it's fucking forty dollars for one deluxe black series figure. And they and yeah. each one of those came with like five figures. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> Let me live my life. <sighs> like I, I'm standing there with uh, the Darth Revan 30th anniversary figure in the background. And they're I mean, like, take it out of the box. Hear me out. And I'm like, you know, that's like a $300 hear figure. Me out. It could just be that these people didn't have the self-control to keep their stuff in the box as a kid. And now they're trying to convince themselves that, that it's, it's fine. fine that they took them all out and everyone yeah. else should. I think it's fine. No, and, like, and look, I'm not saying like, oh, they don't have any of the older figures. No, no, that's no. not what I'm saying. Yeah. What I'm saying is if you do, that's awesome. Yeah. But the fucking figure you're showing me in your video, yeah, it's a first order Black Series figure that I can pay $15 for on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. That I have no, three you're, of. You're not wrong. <laughs> I have three of them. I got three one of those. One I opened, <laughs> one I fucking closed, and one I just sold. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it reminds me, yeah. of, well, it was just straight to DVD type of movie. The Jimmy Neutron movie, did you guys watch it? Fuck yeah, what okay. do you mean? When, when he's showing did up, we the show watch? and tell, he's like, oh, oh Ultra Lord? Ultra Lord, like, <laughs> Oh, how do you know it's even in there? Oh, yeah? Nyeh, nyeh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I opened it out of the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so funny. Jesus. That's a fucking deep cut, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, like, but yeah, that, that's that bugs me. Because I get those all the time. Because they're like, TikTok's like, oh, you're a Star Wars fan. Let me get irritate shit on. you. Yeah. <laughs> get shit on. Get shit on. Um, and I'm like, like, good for you. But you don't know... You don't my, know. You don't know me. my collecting habits. Yeah. You don't know the shit I have in my closet. Yeah. If I showed you the bins, you've seen them. But like, I literally those like that have like the the plastic lids with yeah. like the on yeah. the side. Right? <laughs> um, I have like I think four of those, and then I have like three of the Star Wars carry cases, two Vader's, two two of them are the Vader ones, and one of them is the C three PO one. That when you press his like mouth, he like talks and his eyes light up. Damn. Full. And in one of those, <laughs> remember how I had a closed, a sealed uh, Darth Revan yeah. from the 30th anniversary? Mm-hmm. Sealed. And in one of those carry cases, I have open the Darth Revan, the Darth Malak, all of the 30th anniversary um, Macquarie concept art figures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fucking tell me flexing. to open my shit. They're all already flexing. open. They're all. Re- I'm gonna flex if they're gonna be shitting on me. <laughs> no, no, oh I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Yeah. <laughs> you poor people would just buy three of each figure. You wouldn't have to worry about it. Look, I'm kidding. Three of the ones that you love, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah. If you're gonna fucking like, you do you too. I don't yeah. care if you don't. If you open, just your don't figures. tell people how to collect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mm-hmm. moral of the story is don't tell yeah. me how to collect, and I, I won't tell you how you can enjoy Star Wars. <gasps> how about that? Yeah. Not that I do that. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I just I, I thought it was funny because I I there was like a day where I got like six of those on my feed. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> Holy is Eric Helday. Yeah. <laughs> Take it out like, of the box. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. TikTok will see through your camera, I guess, and see that you They're like, one. this guy's a hoarder. <laughs> we should this. tell him to take them out of the box. <laughs> yeah. Um, Can I just say how lucky you are to have someone who's so supportive of your, like, collecting habits? Because any other fiance would be like, sell that Get shit, shit ASAP. <laughs> I thought it was our collection. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> Most women would be like, get all this shit out of here right now. Yeah, well. Put it in a storage unit well, and see it shit. once a year. Well, you're not, you're not most women. That's right. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait. <laughs> oh, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> you're like, wow. And at the same time, you're like, wow. What can I say? And you know, and you knew you were marrying the. Uh, I'm like the biggest Star Wars fan in the world. I did. I rest my case. I kind of I knew that oh the first time I went to your house. <laughs> well, I couldn't really hide it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I can't exactly remember because we've been dating for almost ten years now. So, 
I don't even remember like before dating you, but Me I'm either. trying to remember like Did you tell me you liked Star Wars? I did. Like early on? I did. I remember because you were um I told you that I was really into it and that I you know, was obsessed <laughs> and collected kind of collected it. Star Wars. And I remember I remember you said um you were like, "Oh, that's really cool." I think it's really cool when uh, someone has something that they're really into. <laughs> I'm so cool. <laughs> such a cool girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Well, to be fair. Well, I lied. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fucking nerd. Um, to be fair, my dad is obsessed with model car kits and he's collected them his entire life. Um, collected and built them his entire life. So growing up, my dad had those in like floor to ceiling in his office in his office's closet in the garage in the bonus room yeah. like so i feel like maybe to someone else it would have been like oh wow like this is kind of a lot but well, to me i was like oh I mean, it's not it's not a doubt it that happened yeah <laughs> happen. i was like oh he is obsessed with this thing and he's been collecting it since he's a, he was a kid like that's cool since i was like born, born. yeah <laughs> like literally first birthday he got mm -hmm. star wars stuff yeah because so. both both my uncles <laughs> and my dad were obsessed with star wars and you were born like you were born in 96 which so is when Power they the were Force like was... revving up for the new trilogy so that was when they had like yeah. literally every single character ever made reissued and got like the, the buff buff chewy yeah, buff yeah, luke yeah. buff han buff leia Ugh, steroids. buff uh <laughs> vader steroids. and boba yeah that that that's still my favorite series yeah i, I like, like nostalgic wise nostalgic wise yeah because that was those were the ones i played with those mm -hmm. were the ones i played with those were the the like i had the ad at that the one that's in the in, you know in the other room mm -hmm. the ad at that's on the bookcase the big boy um <laughs> And that was the ad at that I would play with. I would always recreate the Battle of Hoth. Uh, I would always put Luke on the little string and like pull him up. <laughs> and sick. you know, I had like Boba Stop Fett, motion. Vader, and like I had like ten stormtroopers because you could army build. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back yeah. then, it wasn't like you go to the fucking Target and you can there only was find nothing. One. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I I. I vividly remember like playing with the you know the power of the force figures um the packaging was I mean the Vader on the corner it's yeah. super nostalgic iconic and then uh right after that it was I think it was still power of the force but it was the like the episode one merch with like the red box oh yeah and, yeah that that to me is more like what I think of yeah is like that packaging yeah, the Darth Maul one mm-hmm yeah, th th that one was also really, or like, a really fun set. Uh, and then I think after that came the next, like, green box, but it had Obi-Wan. Like, episode one Obi-Wan on the corner, but, like, full body, and he's, like, he's like this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that was also really, like, that entire, like, they, and that they era. had every ship. They had X wings. They had Tie fighters. Every Tie fighter. They had like B wings. You know, everything. It's you crazy can how much they put out. They did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we were just talking about this. How, like, it's completely changed. Yeah. Comple like it's night and day. It makes me really sad because I'm the type of collector that like I have to see it in person, and in a millisecond I know if I'm buying it or not. Like, yeah. that's how I am. Yeah. I hate pre-orders. I hate when they put, like, a photo of what it's supposed to look like. I, I'm not buying that. I exactly. need to see it, True. feel it in my hands, and take it home and put it on my shelf. Yeah, exactly. That's how I collect. So I've gotten to the point where I I would rather go to, like, um, comic shops or, like, places like that, like, pop culture shops that sell old figures or like yeah. old things because i love like the hunt you know you can yeah. go on ebay you can find anything right but it's yeah. not the same yeah but if you like go in a comic shop and you like oh my god it's that you know i had that when i was little and i lost it or i gave it to my cousin and i regret it or whatever it was yeah 
and then you see it again and you like have that nostalgic feeling it's like oh well i have to buy it yeah. right exactly no no no. i agree and it's like you know you know immediately if you want yeah it, uh or if you're gonna get it and and most uh, of that stuff is cheap like obviously it depends on how rare something is but it's like i can get four or five action figures from the set i grew up with for the price of one of these new ones yeah Exactly. So I'm going to pick five over one. Exactly. Exactly. You know? But and that, that's me. No, yeah. That's and, me. And, and, and look, before, um, like with the 30th anniversary collection around that era, I guess, um, there was a... Wait, really quick. Yeah. Did they do a 40th anniversary collection? Uh, I don't think so. I think they did, but Black Series figures and it was like, it, it's very easy to collect. That's sad. To complete, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway. Like, there's, there's like, a handful of figures, I think, that are... Like, ten? Uh, uh, let, let's look it up. Because I'm up. like, okay, we always talk about the 30th anniversary set, but, like, was there a 40th? I know they celebrated the 40th, but, like, was there a line? Let's see. Uh, that's 40... No, it's okay. You don't need to put it on the screen yet. Um... Oh, they did this thing. It was like the 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 mail away ones. Okay. Remember it was like the Darth Vader set that came with that. It's literally that. It comes with it's this one. All right, you can yeah, you can put this on the screen because right. people aren't going to know what we're talking about. Um but yeah, it was this set. So I don't I, think I've even seen that. I have two of these. <laughs> That's so really? good of a collector. Yeah, I have two of these. <laughs> Actually, this is a picture of both of mine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, but no, yeah, I have two of these. So this it's is like 2017. 20. Yeah, 2017. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, it came with the Darth Vader figure, hmm. and then in the box it came with uh, like diorama thing. Yeah, the diorama thing that it's pretty much the original like mail away oh, card okay. thing. Okay, that's cool. So it was cool, but yeah. it's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think nine behind him. Ten, eleven, twelve. That's not bad. Okay, but it's twelve. How many, okay, but it's twelve figures. How many yeah. figures did they release for the thirtieth anniversary? Like a hundred. Let's pull this shit up. Two <laughs> hundred. There Split were okay. Seats. So for the thirtieth anniversary, <laughs> here I'm gonna go get it. You guys keep talking. Okay. Because this this merits. Are you getting your coin book? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> We've opened Pandora's box. Pretty there's much. there's no going back. Oh, here it goes. Look that was fast. Shit. Yeah, it was right there. <laughs> and there's spider in it. That's beautiful. All that shit. Okay. Bini, so, dini. 30th anniversary. Ooh. Oh, nice. I'm going to make sure I don't destroy the table. So, yeah, this, I'm still trying to finish this. And... This is like if the house is on fire, you need to grab this. Yeah, yeah. that's like the first thing. It's that and all my comics. Yeah. <laughs> and all your comics, yeah. What about I'll die baby? before I leave the fucking <laughs> Eric, comics. We find Eric all just like clutching the... Oh, or maybe they'll God. be safe if there's a fire because they're in the filing cabinets. Uh, they'll get baked, but... Yeah. All right. Let's just so, hope that doesn't happen. The coins won't, though. All right. So pretty much, for those of you that don't know, the 30th anniversary of... Star Wars, Star Wars, uh, Star Wars. The, was a huge deal. So yeah. I mean, it was a huge, huge deal. There were so many figures, an entire collection of figures, of single figures in their carded boxes. Like every character, right? Like every character. Yeah. Right? So, excuse me. Excuse me. So... Not only that, there were. That's when they released like the battle packs. So like, oh, yeah. if we look on the screen. Let me, let me see if I can pull one up. So yeah, there were these, right? So cool. Right. So they came with the figure and an a collectible coin, and mm -hmm. this is the Darth Vader that came with this with the with the binder. So oh, okay. you could buy the binder, and it came with the first figure, which was Darth Vader, and okay. your first coin. So. Now, if you open the binder, right? Oh, so, right? 
You open the binder. Oh, dang. Look at that. So I, so yeah. you fucking look me in the eye and tell me I don't open my <laughs> goddamn figures. <laughs> Damn. Out for blood. <laughs> right. Triggered. So this is the first one, just Darth Vader. Right. So you put it, you put them in. Um, I'm missing only a handful. I've been fucking collecting these since this came out. Yeah. Right. Since this collection. This came is out. sixty, right? It's sixty, but here's the th- here's the thing. Okay. There were all of the ones, all of the figures that came with a coin that had a number, right? So 19 I'm missing, right? And the, the number's on the coin, so you mm-hmm. know where to put them. But pretty much what they did And was, these are not plastic, right? These are no, like no, they're, metal they're like metal coins. Yeah, they're metal yeah. coins. So they came... Oh, so move that way or move this that way. There's also... So this is an entire... So it says... <laughs> Show and tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is my Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coin uh, book, and I have bit? all the figures. There you go. And I put them. We're in blocking this Bella. Perfect. Yeah. No, I'm in. What's I'm on your camp because it's your okay, okay. And you're So, uh, a galaxy <laughs> of collector coins to celebrate the power of the Force. In 1985, Kenner introduced a new concept into the three, three, qu- three and three quarters figure packaging, the collector coin. These Power of the Force coins were an instant hit and are highly sought after today. Now, seasoned collectors and recent arrivals to the galaxy can experience the excitement of a new series of Star Wars collector coins, depicting characters and scenes from the entire six-film epic, as well as the expanded universe. Woo! Oh, what? Not canon? <laughs> Woo! Fucking. Anyway. Uh... uh these coins have been recreated in the original size, but with some fresh new twists. This special album has slots to display all 60 three and three quarters uh, figure coins. You will also find extra spaces for duplicates or promotional coins that may be produced over the course of the year. Enjoy the hunt for these truly special coins. Right? Dang. That's yeah. what this says. They and then look at hard. this. So there's this is the, the side where... The extra slots that are not numbered. Oh. And this is where I would put. So, this is the concept art Boba Fett. Dude, that's so when cool. the 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 yeah. coin for him was golden. And then there were a bunch that didn't have numbers. So mm. this is yeah. These are like all of the concept arts. So, so how would loop. you get those? They were in the same still figures, figures? but okay. but they were like. Some of them were Star Wars Celebration exclusives or like mm. Comic Con exclusives. So they did like additional. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then there were also figures that they ne- they didn't necessarily give that character its own coin, but if it was from like the prequel era, it was. Uh, or no 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 sorry if from whatever episode it was from they would on the bottom it says episode three and like this one is episode three it has Grievous Anakin and Obi Wan. Oh, right that's and so then cool. so i have all of those so it's episode one uh two and th- i think this is two yeah episode one two uh three four so i can't see now but there they are <laughs> yeah. uh there was also an expanded universe coin yeah so for figures of characters that were in the expanded universe that's cool. um they had that one i have that one in silver and i have it in gold that's crazy. Yes. So, yeah, like... And this wasn't the entire collection. No, it wasn't. This was Not just no. the three and three quarters yeah. action figures. There Take was... it out of the album. Exactly. <laughs> these, these were... Take it out of the album. Exactly. These were just the three and three quarters action... Like the single figures. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then on top Dude. of that, there were, like <laughs> I said... They went so hard. They went so damn hard. They said merch who? Uh, but again... So I can finish. <laughs> there, there was the three and three quarter single figure line, like the one we see uh, on the screen, like the Vader that we showed. Mm-hmm. And then there was the battle packs, like this. Oh, right. Yeah. So that one, I also have. I have Ooh. all. I have like pretty much this entire Sheesh. collection. I have Ooh. right, and and uh, and opened. I got two. Uh, look at that. Three hundred and sixty dollars, brand new now. <sighs> This is the Mandalorians and Clone Troopers action figure multi pack. It was right. not three hundred and sixty dollars when it came out. This was Probably like forty dollars like, yeah. at most. Damn. So there was that one. There's uh, they, they also did uh, Delta Squad, I believe. Oh, that's Should gonna be, be like I, way more expensive. Also have that one. Yeah, that one's 
very hard to come by. Euros? Uh, yeah, this one's two hundred and fifty euros. Uh, this is the same one. Um, let me look up Delta Squad. The Fet Legacy one is that from this era? Uh, or that's no, I think else? I think it's the Legacy Collection, like the ones that, the boxes that look like Stormtrooper helmets and clone helmets but the one that's like it has like mandalore Django, and well that's the thing is they reissued it so and... i don't remember I, I think okay. it might be from this era but okay. i don't remember um it's not here so let's see delta oh, i didn't put delta squad yeah this one so this is the delta squad this isn't this is, this one's three hundred. So cool. Three hundred on, uh, on Amazon. Um, but yeah, this is the Saga collection. I forgot about that. Uh, that was also a really good collection. Um, I love too how like, they they would put them in poses yeah. and like it looks like a scene Look in the one. box. It's not just Force yeah. Unleashed. Force Unleashed. Well, like Kashyyyk. they're fighting in the box. Yeah. Attack on Kashyyyk. It comes with Vader, yeah. Force Dude. choking, and then two stormtroopers and two Wookies fighting why would why state. would you want to take that out of the package it literally i i could try my best i could not make something look that cool you see <laughs> they did is the one you showed last episode or is there like a version like that but like on a scene that was of of what or a star killer oh a star killer but is there like a scene one? uh i don't know i don't Still remember just like a kenner <laughs> i don't remember let's see um well there's got to be a star killer battle all big... pack right yeah all right let's see let's see Star Killer. Oh wow! Here we go. Silva's so like oh immediate purchase. Yeah, here's my uh, credit card. I think. Uh, oh, that's Luke Star Killer. Yeah, that's the the concept art. Uh, I'm I'm glad George changed it because Luke Star Killer is like super aggressive. Super aggressive. <laughs> no, this is the one we saw last week. Yeah. That's the vintage collection one. But they didn't do a scene, a scene one. But yeah. Let's see. Uh, Star, they should. I mean, Star if they did, the perfect one would have been him, like double hand stance, like force lightning, and yeah, like AT, AT or some shit. That'd be sick. Let's see. There was de oh yeah, here it is. There we oh, go. Ooh, yeah. I want it. Yeah. <laughs> Send me the link. Send me the link. Look at that. So oh, the Evo Trooper, cool. Juno Eclipse, uh, oh, Star he's Killer, Junkyard, yeah. Something? And this is like the the rebel trooper. So and it says one a, of two. A uh, stormtrooper. So one it was like a, Ooh, oh, yeah. a second part one? one and part two. I think this is. Oh shit! Oh, no, I wait, no, no, no that says one of two. Uh, yeah, there there was definitely a lot of them. Oh, this is another one. Bruh. Force unleashed. Oh, Bruh. oh this so is the. Cool. I think these were the characters that were in the PSP version. Remember? Oh hell yeah! I can't. Why it's is the blurriest so photo quality. ever? <laughs> Oh, 2011. Here it, here it is. Dude, click on the other one after this one. Oh, this That's one. That's the oh, one yeah. I was talking oh, about. That, the yeah, the, the evolutions ones. So yeah, there's this now. one. I don't know if I have this one. Actually. That's so cool. So yeah, six, with Secret Apprentice mask. to Sith Lord to Jedi Knight. Oh my God. Oh wow. That is it. so cool. Hey, the price on this one is not as bad. I as thought the it'd other be ones. more. Okay, Dude, but I'm honestly, I feel like people don't it? even know this exists because if Silva and I have never seen it, yeah, oh my sure. God, I it's like well, I'd not rather, that we know everything, I'd but he's obsessed with Star Killer. <laughs> <laughs> I might have it in like storage. I just don't remember. There's also a lot of stuff I have in storage. I I'm about to turn into Sharpie. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, look at this packaging. You know, Dude, so like cool. look at this. Look at those. The incinerator troopers that just made their debut in Mando. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so cool. Um, 2008 was a my, very good my year wish, for Star Wars. Look, my wish? somebody... Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. But somebody on Twitter was like, we're in the golden age of Star Wars. And, I, uh, and I'm like, I don't even respond. The golden I'm age like, of Star Wars was like 1980. Because look, look, <laughs> I... We're back, I'm not, we're back to the dark age. I'm not saying that <laughs> right now sucks. No. It's awesome. We're getting yeah. so many cool projects, all that awesome stuff, right? But 2005 to 2008? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. If you, like, get yeah. the fuck out of here. Like, it, I don't think that, that can even be argued. Look, though, like. look. Star Wars video games, right? Star Wars video games. 
Uh, let's just look that up just and see the ones. fucking years here, right? So let's just count which ones came out between 2005 and 2008. And there's a year in between. I can't remember if it's 05 or 08 where there were like four games that released and they're like four of the best Star Wars games to ever release. I mean, Lego Star Wars. All right. 2008. Force Unleashed. Banger. Yeah. Right off the, the bat. I'll do the ad libs. All right. 2005, the first Lego Star Wars. Banger. Yeah. 2005, Star Wars Republic Commando. Banger. Yeah. 2007, <laughs> Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. So Banger. that One that, of the best. The best. Star Wars Battlefront 2, 05. Oh my yeah. God, the GOAT. <laughs> the GOAT. <laughs> uh, and I'm skipping some that are not between 05 and 08, but yeah. they were 04, like Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. But let's stick to 05 and 08, right? Uh, okay. 04 is Battlefront 1. All right, yeah, yeah. Lego Star Wars 2 is 06. Mm. Empire at War, 06. So this, yeah. uh, uh, some people don't know, but for those of you that know, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> one of the greatest, com- like, this was a computer game. Yeah. It was like one of those, it was like a... Turn-based tactical. Or some shit, uh, right? Not turn-based. It was, it's like, um, oh my gosh. Um, kind of like a, oh my god, not RPG? Starforge, not RPG. Oh my god, I'm blanking. It's like where you Starcraft. have your unit, yeah, like Starcraft, where yeah, yeah. you have your units and then you tell them where to go yeah. and you just watch them fucking do it, right? <laughs> do your thing. Do your thing. Um, ta- I guess tactical. No, it's not tactical. It's um, anyway. Awesome game. I played the sh- I hours, hours of my fucking life on this, right? So you can make whatever battle scenario you feel like, right? Pretty much. It was like, like it was it was like yeah, it was like a simu- sim- simulation Just like the simulations. where it was so you could be at either rebels or empire and you could go up against each other or you could also be um like um like a crime syndicate like the huts Ooh. or like you know stuff like something like that. We're here for the drama. And could you do something like insane like um there's some other games but i don't know the title but it's like i'm gonna put like ten thousand ewoks <laughs> like a hundred a thousand yes ewoks yes and no a yes and no but there i don't think there were ewoks but yeah. you could play so you could either play on on the surface of like a planet or, or it would i would play in space mostly because uh-huh. that was that's what was fun because what you would do is you would build your space station and you would upgrade it throughout the battle the battle it was pretty cool and then there was a lie. point where you could if you play, it was a certain game mode, but there was a point where you could upgrade your space station if you were the Empire to Damn. the Death Star. What? Oh! And then if you built the Death Star and you it just loaded, blow planets. instant win. Yeah. As soon as you activated the Death Star, so much fun. That's crazy. So much fun. <laughs> yeah. Sick. There were different game modes and everything, but there's, that's there's what I would two, do. There's two games actually. Thank you to Star Wars community. There's this one game, but people have made multiple like patches updates it's for the oculus hmm. it's like a makeshift first person shooter oh. but people skinned it to be uh or i think you connect to your pc you're playing battle f- og battlefront 2 in vr <gasps> oh i that. saw that we need to do that we oh need to God. do that i want to let's do so it bad. let's figure it out yeah all right so last one on the list here between 05 and 08 the episode 3 Video game. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. The go. The go. <laughs> the fucking best game. Okay, so 2005 gave us Revenge of the Sith video game. Uh, what else was 05? I think that's Battlefront the only 2. movie to game type of scenario where they killed it. Yeah. No, no, no. Lego it, it was Star amazing. Wars. Lego Star Wars. So Lego Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, Battlefront 2. Republic Commando. Republic Commando. <laughs> Oh my God. Four Battlefront Two. Beautiful. Yeah, but I think we said that. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Four games. And like, the year, like God tier games too, yeah, not just God like tier not like games. oh four games. Would you say like, right now we're barely picking up again because uh, Fall Order? Really? We're picking yeah. up again. I mean, we're getting a game. I mean, it was good. It's no, it's it's good. Okay, the first, you know, yeah, Fall Order was really good. I'm not yeah. taking anything away from that. Okay amazing game i loved it um all i'm saying is once you're done you're done mm, yeah, I guess. you're done yeah. like you can't 
I mean, you do can anything still else. Uh, go to other areas and, and try to find different hilts, colors, yeah. and all yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I mean is once you've done all that, which I have. Oh, okay, don't, don't replay it. <laughs> he unless he much. does it slow and like does every 100%. single thing 100%. Yeah. He doesn't I le- I speed run Lego. and then go back and like look for stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't play only the story, and then I'll. I save the. I do everything like chronologically. Also. Nerd. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> look. <laughs> Battlefront Two was fun, but like. Oh, the new one. Yeah. yeah, the new one is just like. I mean, Ewok Hunt. Ewok Hunt is fun, but the, look. The, the only all thing I'm that saying was exciting is, on that one was the Rogue One last ditch effort, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of, I didn't fun. see Rogue Squadron on here. Where is that? Uh, oh, that's the fr- no. That was the 90s? Oh, there it is. 98. Rogue yeah. Squadron. Fucking that best was for game the, the Nintendo 64, right? Hell yeah, it was. I think there was also... No, no, I'm thinking... Oh, you just had that in your booth on Comic-Con LA, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. We were playing that. Um, 96, Shadows of the Empire. That was like some I still play shit. that shit. I still play that shit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, iconic. I'm sorry. Most of these games are early 2000s, and I. Um, <clears throat> you so did a merchant. Uh, I'm forced on these. Um, okay, yeah. yeah. Where, is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's one right there. No, that's that's the oh, second one. That's the second one, but I think higher. Oh yeah, yeah. 2008. Yeah, Force Unleashed. 2008. Yeah. So, between 2005 2008, best era for Star Wars right. because we had. Yeah. Crazy they were shit. going like full force, like comics. Well, books, yeah, 2007, 2007 shows. was 30th anniversary, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 2007 was the 30th anniversary. So we had not. So right now we're just going over video games. It was yeah. video games. It was the all the figures we just went over yeah. was the 30th anniversary collection. All that shit was everywhere. Yeah. Every comic shop, every Target, every Toys R Us. <laughs> everywhere you couldn't escape it those are just the figures now imagine the legos oh imagine God. literally everything else yeah the comics that were coming out between 05 and 08 yeah. fucking incredible i i can go on <laughs> i can go on so if you're gonna talk I can go to into me, heavy detail if you're gonna talk and to, i will and i will and i will i will go into heavy detail um <laughs> all i'm saying is if we're gonna talk about golden age of star wars yeah. Oh five to oh eight. Uh, and I I think you can argue eighty to eighty three too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean when the freaking original movies yeah. were coming out, yes. But what I mean is content wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, they were making video 08? games. What came like, out in 08? Like they were, yeah. Clone Wars. Yeah. So don't fucking talk to me about <laughs> Golden Age being twenty twenty two. Yeah, it's, de- it, it, it's definitely Sorry, not 2022. It's not, it's not <laughs> Sorry. now. We might be headed towards a new golden age of yeah. Star Wars. I agree with that. Yeah. If they fucking knock it out of the park, if they do it right, yeah. I agree. It has the potential, but but we're not there yet. But <laughs> you can't tell me we're in the golden age of Star Wars when we... The last time we got a Star Wars video game was when? There's a new one coming out, but... The last time was uh, Fallen Order. Fallen Order or Battlefront 2? Fallen Order. Where is it? Well, there's the new Lego Star Wars, but... Oh, yeah. The oh, new... yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. True. Le- yeah. The new Lego Star Wars does fucking slap. That was amazing. Yeah, that slaps. I will never talk shit about that. That was good. But, but Lego, what I'm saying is... Lego never the... misses. Lego never misses. The... All I'm saying is the volume... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah is not course. there. No, yeah. Um, If we're thinking, like... Yeah, volume wise, it's 2005 to yeah. 2008. I'm still waiting for Star Wars Hunters, dude. Oh, yeah. Fucking mm. Star Wars Hunters. What happened to that? Exactly. It, we previewed it's it at Celebration and it was really cool. Yeah. But oh, yeah. I and they also said, we, we told them about the podcast and they were like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. We'll send you a bunch. Of, they put us on like the mailing list. Haven't heard anything. Damn. Um, it's like hella delays. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for that game. It was really fun. We played it, uh, we played like two matches. Mm-hmm. I think is fun. it mobile and yeah oh, mobile switch. and switch yeah. switch okay yeah really really fun yeah. so there's stuff in development and there's been stuff in oh, development yeah. since the first uh, Battlefront in 2015. I'm so excited yeah. for Eclipse. 
Is what? that oh, happening? Star, 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 uh, yeah, right. But Star Wars Eclipse, I think he's. Oh, the... Eclipse. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I'm so I'm so excited for the clips. What clips? <laughs> Show me the clips. Yeah, Star Wars Eclipse. That uh, looks really awesome, but. It looked. As far yeah, as I know, cool. it's been shown. Local world, you want to be a, a bounty hunter? Yeah. yeah. But see, that's that's what I'm talking about. Wait. Is we're in 2023, where there's games like Grand this is a bad Auto. example, but Cyberpunk. Oh yeah. Bad example. Let's let's say <laughs> GTA Five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. That was 2014. Please yeah. give us Star Wars. That was 2014. GTA. <laughs> we we live in a world where we have GTA Five, where we have Red Dead. Yeah, like Redemption yeah. Two. It's possible. The technology's there. Imagine a game like that, but Dude. in the era of the Mandalorian. Oh. oh where yes. you could be a bounty hunter. Where you could be. A Jedi in Luke's Ooh. New Jedi Order, where Dude. you could be a um, An Sith server, acolyte, and you can be a, a Inquisitor, and then you have yeah. to hunt down other. Or that, Jedi. there you go. Or you can be a freaking, uh, you could be a, 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 a freaking royal guard that survived the Empire Ooh. and is trying to restore the Ooh. legacy of Palpatine. Stole that from Crimson Empire. What's Read that it. Game it fucking that slaps. They robbed us from. <laughs> Uh, might have been 2008 when they pre-read it i think it was just a number the title of it oh 1313 13? don't 13, even fucking get me started dude, uh, don't uh, fucking get me started on all the heart. games you're gonna make him cry on all that the games that heart. disney canceled as soon as they bought star wars yeah that is a is dude, a tragedy look can you, can you pull like up, actually can you pull a tragedy up the demo the the like the run it was like a chase scene, sure. right yeah oh i mean oh my god it breaks your heart everyone it uh, beautiful the unfinished like gameplay yeah they, is they upload, so cool like the the, the ground the, the character's walking on i think is fat right yeah uh, it's boba it, fat it's, uh, yeah. it has no texture so it's all blocky but dude it looks oh let me let me oh it's a commercial yeah I'm just like, wait wait uh but yeah like look I love, I love, again, I cannot stress this enough. I'm heated and I'm loud right now, but <laughs> please don't, please don't think that I'm not uh, grateful for everything we're getting. Yeah. First of yeah. all, don't think I'm, I'm not grateful because I am. I eat up every ounce of Star Wars that we've been getting, yeah. eat it yes. up, the comics, the novels, the shows, all figures, of it, everything. figures, games, all of it, right? Um, but one thing I will say, and this is why... It bothers me is that when you buy a company, the point is that you're buying them because look at how they're doing. Yeah. Look at how they're doing. Look at how well they're doing it and how good they are running their company. Now, as a bigger company that wants to buy them, personally, I would go, well, now the only difference is we own you. And we have more but just yeah, yeah. And exactly. now you have Disney budget. Yeah. Keep yeah. doing what you're doing, but exactly. ramp it up. Yeah. Not, I'm going to buy this company and shut down Lucas LucasArts. Yeah. Lucas Books. Damn. You know, all of yeah. the departments that made Lucasfilm so what it, unique. What it was. <laughs> what it was. Yeah. Because Lucasfilm isn't just the Star Wars films. It was the books, the novels, the video games everything in between yeah that's what made it so special that's what made it so unique because even to this day there's nothing nothing compares to lucasfilm and star wars and what 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 it was what it is yeah you know what i mean nothing compares yeah. so it does bother me that as soon as they bought it they canceled well people like to forget they canceled the clone wars we were supposed to get up to season 10, I believe, of the Clone Wars. Right. And they were like, we're doing you a favor by giving you half of a season with season 7. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, yes, I'm grateful that we got season 7 because it is some of the best Star Wars we've ever gotten. But it's also kind of like bittersweet when yeah. it's the best, some of the best Star Wars we've ever gotten. But we were supposed to get yeah. like th four more seasons. Yeah. Yeah. That was that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And people wanted it. It wasn't like it was a failing project. No. And they're like, eh, let's just no. kind of yeah. wrap it up. People like to come in. To yeah. the, people like to come into the fandom and say, oh, Star Wars was dead before Disney bought it. That Bruh. is further, the furthest from the truth. 
yeah the furthest from the truth why would they buy it if it was it may not have been (laughs) mainstream yeah it may not have been mainstream but for those that loved it for the fans that were part of the community actively that were into star wars at that point in time nowhere close to being dead no we were we we were in the middle of the clone wars we uh we were getting figures left and right we were getting Books. not only star wars 1313 but we were getting that which was could have been the most incredible game ever we were getting a darth maul game pretty oh, yeah. much that was pretty much going to be like uh force unleashed but darth maul oh shit and there's gameplay fucking looks amazing so sad yeah we'll put that you you know what because most people have seen the the 1313 one um i haven't seen the mall one that you stated unreleased darth mall this game when the footage came out and when we first learned about it it was like we're getting it and this was announced pretty much at the same around the same time as star wars 1313 Mm -hmm. and when that gameplay came out um not to mention so four games one of them i'm not sure if it was real that we were getting it but still it could have possibly been a thing so star wars 1313 was the biggest one next one was the darth maul game that we're about to watch right battlefront 3 which (laughs) people i have a mod for battlefront 2 that people made using the files from the original battlefront 3 game that so pretty much what what you could have done was go from a space battle to ground go down to into the atmosphere to the to the battleground it was crazy and then and then vice versa yeah incredible i've played it it would have been incredible like game changing yeah uh that was also confirmed we like we were getting that Damn. The last one was, I'm not sure if we were getting it, but a lot of people think like to think that we were. I like to think that we were, but who knows? Was um, Knights of the Old Republic three? Uh, so we're getting it though. All we know is a remaster. The remake. Reboot. Remake. Because they're re- <laughs> they're rewriting some of the story apparently. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So it's like a re. It, and the gameplay is going to be completely different, right? It's going to be like. It's going to be like I heard it was going to be like uh, Force Unleashed. Unleashed. I heard. I'm not. I don't know if that's fact or cap. They better do like an <laughs> add-on or, or a skin for Star Killer or something. They, sure. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, so those were four games that we were for sure gonna get. Mm-hmm. That as soon as the, you know, as Lucasfilm was sold, yeah. canceled. Clone Wars canceled. Uh, a bunch of comic series that were ongoing. <laughs> like in the done, middle of the canceled. story. Yeah. Um, bunch of stuff like that so it's like yeah. that that's what does bother me a little bit where it's like we don't need to cancel it right yeah. like look at marvel yeah what they didn't they are still publishing their comics their multimedia stories and all that stuff and yet they still have the mcu that is its own thing yeah and it doesn't affect what happens in the comics you know what yeah. i mean so it's like yeah I, and I think I have faith in Lucasfilm. I have faith in, you know, the current state of, of Star Wars and Disney. I, I have faith in them. I yeah, do. Yeah, I, 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 I get, uh, yeah, we have Dave, we have John, we have some amazing people in, in the background, right? Um, so I, I like to think that we're in an era, we're in a point in Star Wars right now where they're finding their footing again. Yeah. And we're gonna get back to that. Yeah, that's what I, I like. That's what I. I that's I how think. it feels. That's how it feels because yeah. it is progressively getting better. Uh, not like the quality of the content. I mean, like what organized, how, organized, and <laughs> yeah. how much we're getting, yeah. right? Because before, the video games was its own department, so they were cranking out games. The comics were their own department; they were cranking out stories, books, same yeah. thing. It was All a well-oiled stuff. machine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. E- exactly. Yeah. So I think they're finding their footing again. And I have faith that someday soon we're going to see the like Star Wars come back to that. Yeah. And I think that 
now more than ever. This game specifically, the Darth Maul one, could be made and could still be relevant because I didn't even explain to you the like the the Promise. timeline or like the point in the timeline. Mm-hmm. But this is Maul versus Death Watch. What? Yeah. Really? He's fighting Mandalorians. So wait, 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 make yeah, it happen. Make it happen. Let's release Come it. Come on. And it's have be canon. And have Sam Witwer voice Maul. Oh my yeah. god. Have Sam Thank Witwer you. voice Maul. Dude, Perfect. this is people's favorite Maul. Yes. Like Yes. Like Like season 7 season Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Siege Clone of Wars Mandalore. Maul. Like Siege of Mandalore Maul. Yeah. So this is it. I I don't know for sure if it's a Siege of Mandalore. I can't remember. This has been a while since I've watched it, but we'll watch yeah. it. And then uh, for those of you listening, the sound is off because it has music and we will get flagged. Yeah. But uh, if you want to see what we're watching, uh, head over to YouTube. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Watch this shit. Look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's so, a beast and, oh, wow. and that's his shit the scimitar yeah, look at that yeah, yeah. that's pre oh my god with the dark saber <gasps> dude come on they uh, they look have to Whoa. oh wait they all have dark sabers i think this is just like uh like the test footage yeah but still he would have been fighting mandalorians the jetpacks look at that wow that's death watch dude. Wait till he starts decapitating them. What? Yeah. Oh, wait, that's it? Okay. Uh, there's this other video. We'll watch it. It's someone else's video about it. I think it's IG or Game Informer. Yeah. But I think that, yeah, there's definitely more footage that they're not showing. Um, yeah, just take it off the screen mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. for now. But yeah, did you, like that already was Yeah, insane. that was Dude, already that was so amazing. cool. Okay. Game Informer. The cancelled Darth Maul game. It looks a little bit like it takes a page from the Force Unleashed book. One of the things they told me is that they didn't want it to feel like Force Unleashed. This is more violent, I guess. Lopping off heads, limbs. Look at that. Everything you'd expect a lightsaber to actually do. One of the craziest parts was nobody really knew what was going on. Like they knew they were making a game with LucasArts about Darth Maul. But that's all they really had. I mean, really, that's all they really had. They didn't have a script. They didn't have any writers working mm. with them. They just got like a title, got, Battle yeah, yeah. of the Sith Lords. So they were like, well, maybe it's going to be Darth Maul going against oh. someone else. So that's where they I started thinking, that. well, maybe we'll be creating it. Maybe we will be guiding this ship. And that looks so really they started good. thinking about doing mm. an Amazing. origin story tale. You know, these anonymous sources I talked to seem to think they was canceled just because George Lucas had to ice all the projects that were in the works for the Disney merger. So this isn't a case of a game that isn't looking like it's going to be very good, so it just gets canceled. This is a game that's just like sort of business circumstances pushed underwater. And it didn't even get to the point of it being good or bad. It was all prototypes. It never really got to the point of it being a full-fledged game. There's a chance (laughs) it could come back, but I would say it's very slim. Very, very slim, especially with EA handling the Star Wars license with all their studios. But if it did come back, you'd play it. I would absolutely play it. Of all the kind of canceled game stories that kind of came my way, it sounded like the most interesting one. Yeah, come on. I feel like come on. I feel like they should have released it with season 7 of the Clone Wars. Oof. Like that would have been the time to do it. I mean, but it would still be cool now. Like I'm not saying like that, people wouldn't like I will it now. I'll take but... that game any fucking day <laughs> of the week, any year. Uh, if yeah. I'm 95 and they decide to <laughs> release it, released I'll still it. fucking play it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, that imagine you saw how beautiful that looked. That's like PS3 graphics. Honestly, that just makes me sad because that just further proves that they wanted nothing to do with the prequels. Yeah, and unfortunately, because that that literally just tells you what's who's it about? Maul. Who's he from? Episode one. Nope, we're not doing it. And that's who George wanted for the sequels. Yeah. To be the big bad. And they said no to that. <laughs> Look, anyway. all, all, all I'm going to say is I think that if they are on the way back mm-hmm. to making all kinds of Star Wars content, if you are really about inclusivity and, and, and 
telling all kinds of stories. Yeah. Include Legends fans. Yeah. Include the people that have been here for a long, long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, you know, we were just left hanging with all these stories that were left unfinished, all these projects that we wanted to see that never came to light. And, Mm -hmm. you know, you can still tell amazing stories that are just labeled legends. Yeah. That is still... It's not like it's very, pointless. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. I, you don't need to only have canon. Yeah. That... I, I don't know who keeps perpetuating that and who yeah. keeps pushing that. No, no, no. If it's not canon, we can't make it. It's Star Wars. Yeah. And at this point, it's a fucking multiverse because yeah. of the, you know... World well, between worlds. Even without the world between worlds, it's a multiverse. Yeah. You have... All these legend stories, and yeah. you have canon. There's two. That right there. There's two timelines. There's two timelines. At least, if not more. There's two timelines. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, there are two timelines. At least, right now. Yeah. Now, I'm not even including the Infinities timeline from Legends that was alternate timelines. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even including that. I'm yeah. just including the Legends timeline and the new canon timeline that I love both. I will say it again i will always say it i do love both i genuinely love both but legends fans are not being fed yeah not what the only source of nutrients that (laughs) legacy (laughs) fans get are like the little legends stuff that dave and john have been throwing into the the easter eggs like the dark troopers like yeah like op luke skywalker yeah. Like Ilum, or sorry, not Ilum, uh, Typhon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. That's the only, like, that, that. Uh, and it's like, if you know, you know. Exactly. It's not like, exactly. they don't make a big deal about no, it. they don't. And they shouldn't. I don't want them to. Yeah. I. Just make it normal. Like, just make, make it, it normal. natural. Exactly. Just like, yeah. Exactly. I just, what bothers me is when they make it, like, people that look at legends like it's some, ugh. It's like, like the ugh. the uh, black sheep of the family. Yeah, it's like and like why? look, I get it. I get it to a point because there are a lot of Legends fans that are toxic as fuck, and they make the environment so difficult for anyone, even Legends fans. Like I'm a Legends yeah. fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't agree with a lot of these Legends fans that just, you know, all they do is hate on canon. They hate on everything. They hate on everything. They hate, even yeah. hate on the prequels. You know, so like I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't associate. <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't claim them. I don't them. claim them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so I get it. I do get that. But they don't own Star Wars. You own Star Wars. Yeah. You own it. You get to do whatever you want with it. So make Star Wars. Yeah. Make make the stories that I mean. We still need to know what happens in the legacy era. There's still so much. Like that, we can explore. There's still, yeah. like, there's count- there's, there's thirty years between six and seven. So I mean, I'm talking about leg or legends, but yeah, even that, like, even in canon, exactly. Yeah. Like, there's thirty years. Yeah, we we got a lot of time. Mm-hmm. So anyway, end rant. I just <laughs> um, that's that's really a tragedy. Yeah. Yeah. that game would have been so cool. It it would have been incredible. Yeah. Um, so. To kind of circle back to Hasbro and like how um, what I was just saying is I think they're not just Disney, but also Hasbro and everything surrounding Star Wars. I think it's starting to get better because Hasbro just released this statement. They said uh, you don't have to put on the screen because I'm just going to read it. But um, said it says following the Star Wars fan stream on Wednesday. We wanted to clarify the availability of the revealed items. So for those of you that don't know, they just revealed like a bunch of new figures. Uh, Amongst them is the Starkiller Vintage Collection uh, reissue, right? So they said, we've heard your earlier feedback on the number of pre-orders, and we've decided to adjust the number of them in the new year. With the exception of the Star Wars The Black Series Phase 2 Clone Commander Jesse, All of the items revealed on February 1st will not be going on pre-order. The products will be available on shelf and online during the scheduled dates. 
please see those dates below and note they are subject to change. So they're actually releasing. Them. I'm gonna cry. More of the story. I'm literally gonna cry. This. Like they're actually releasing them. We can go to Target the day they come out and yep. like pick them up. Yep. I'm sorry, but what about the scalpers? Well, the scalpers are worse online. Yeah, because they have their bots. That, yeah. I guess. It's way worse. At, at least now. Because you, you, you can give it. them dirty looks, you know, when, you, when you're waiting outside in you line can, with them. And you can see them with their list and their buyer is already waiting. Not just that, but when, once like, they start... Trying running to, down the yeah. aisle with you you can you know throw an elbow and you're you fine. know you can True. you can actually fight for them <laughs> online there's no chance but like yeah, yeah. No, a- because they depending on the person but usually they'll feel bad if there's two and two of something and they take two no. usually in person they'll take like one not of really each. but <laughs> not really but there is but more of a chance they're yeah. more likely to feel bad especially than if, if it's online mm-hmm. they don't care they'll buy a thousand of them exactly yeah. Especially but like in a, person, hey, you can be like themselves. They have bots. And yeah, just exactly. Like, exactly. So yeah. I'm saying like, if you go in person, I want the Star Killer. Those they're so less spring, likely to just be dicks. Well, Star Killer is coming in spring of 2023. Okay. There's no official date, but yeah. Um, I'm counting on you to keep me updated. Hey, uh, follow oh, Yak Face Hauser. for all of your uh, Star Wars figure needs. That's what's up. Okay. So yeah, this is a. This was, uh, I saw this on Yak Face's profile, and I'm pretty sure I How saw... How did I miss this? Hasbro post about it, but I couldn't find it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I saw it, and I saved it. I, I just forgot to send it in to the podcast, but I'm glad I remembered. Yeah, Because yeah. uh, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal, and that's, like, yeah. a big change that yeah. we've been waiting well, for Well, I'm glad they listened time. to the collectors, because it's, like... Right. Who are you making these for? You're making them for the collectors. So exactly. listen to their feedback, right? Yeah. Like yeah. they want to give you their money. Yeah. <laughs> They're <laughs> literally money. like, take my, take money, my money, but you know, you got to give me a quality product in return. Yeah. And also, that's a fair exchange. You place, <laughs> you place like 10 pre orders and you don't see them for a year. Yeah. No, it's just, it's not, it's not what's up. It ain't it. It ain't it, Chief. It ain't it, Chief. But this is. This is. I'm excited. I'm. I'm, I'm gla- excited. I, I've missed going to the sh- to to the shelves yeah. to find, uh, you know, the figures that I want to get and like all that fun stuff. You know. Yeah. I missed it. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I, I. I've missed it. It's. It's definitely a good change. I'm glad they've listened. I'm glad that they know that it needs to go back to the way it was. Where, because look, they're toys. Yeah. They're toys. They're meant for children. They're meant for children. You think children are online at 6 a.m. with their credit card? No. And their 16 computers? No. Oh no. They're not. They go to Target and see that the only thing left is fucking Constable Zuvio. Yeah. And they're like, they're like okay, I don't like Star cool. Wars. It's I hate not Star fun. Because exactly. there's never any fun characters on the shelves. Exactly. So, so I'm like, like okay. Grogu everything. Grogu everything, but you know I love Grogu, but it's like that's all there is. Yeah, there's a lot if, more to Star Wars than a cute baby. Exactly. So I hope I hope this marks, and it looks like it is it, that this is marking a new beginning. Don't yeah. Ever come back. <laughs> yeah, I've been here for years. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, me too. That makes me, me feel too. a lot better because I was like. I'm I'm done collecting these. Like, exactly. I'm, <laughs> See, every, I can't be bothered. At the end of every rent, there is a silver lining. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Um, moving on, since we're running out of time, uh, we need to go over our Mando predictions. Yes. That's definitely a must. Um, so Mando season two left us on quite a note. Yeah. I'm still not over it. Yeah. I still cry when I even think about it. Dude. Luke Skywalker. That was one of the best moments in Star Wars ever. Yeah. Like, ever. Literally. And I guess that's not where we left off since we had Book of Boba and the Luke and Grogu stuff there. But talking about Mando. Yeah. That was incredible. Seeing that. Luke in his prime. Luke in his prime. um, 
Mando getting the dark saber. Yeah. <laughs> Bo Katan pissed as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> um, Gideon, we don't we don't yeah. know what's up with Gideon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited to see where we pick up. Uh, obviously, Grogu is back with your boy. <laughs> your boy. And um, looks like we're going to to Mandalore. That's we're, crazy. It's absolutely that's insane. crazy. Absolutely insane. So, um, I'm really excited. I'm really really excited. We've kind of touched on some of our predictions i mm-hmm. guess some of our theories where um i think i i i strongly believe that we're gonna see a mythosaur I in hope. season three that'd be so cool i that's just wishful thinking but yeah it makes sense okay it makes sense yeah uh if mando is going to the caves underneath mandalore mm-hmm. if there are mythosaurs left even one that's where it would be. Yeah. That's where it would be. And, you know, Mando being in possession of the Darksaber is a big deal for the Mandalorians. It is a symbol of unity. It is mm-hmm. a symbol of of hope for the Mandalorians that have been scattered throughout the galaxy for years now. Yeah. Um, and what crazier way to unite the mandalorian people not just with the dark saber because yes that could be enough yeah but even more so for mando to find a mythosaur yeah under the city like under mandalore yeah. and not kill it but tame it as a mount like the symbolism of that like and you know and yeah it was alluded to season one like episode one yeah your ancestors gro- rode the great the great mythosaur and you can't write a blurg <laughs> yeah you know what i mean that's right yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it was mentioned it yeah. quill quill i'm looking at you my guy <laughs> rip. If call it, fat rip <laughs> fat rip him. to my boy quill <laughs> Um, Look, I don't think anything is like just a coincidence, especially when it's someone like Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni working on this. That are obsessed with Mandalorians. That are obsessed with Mandalorians and the Mandalorian culture and the symbolism and all of that fun stuff. The history. The history. All I'm saying is if the Mandalorians are going to unite as one people again... After years of being disbanded, after years of being in hiding and uh, in fear yeah. of the empire of extinction, mm-hmm. yeah, Din, like Din just... holding the dark saber, riding a mythosaur that he and his little green frog tame. <laughs> okay, what that... I love about this like theory is that. You can look at the mythosaur as like a dragon, right? Yeah. Like that's kind of the same Pretty vibe, this colossal yep. monster yep. that that is mythical, right? Like yep. does doesn't it really exist anymore? We think they're extinct or whatever, right? That that whole mm-hmm. idea. Well, it's I don't keep your thought, hold your thought. It's literally the same as here, is if dragons ever existed, the story in real life is we killed them all. Yeah. So that's why they don't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. continue. So, yeah. So, I love this idea of, like, the symbolism of it being, like, a dragon living in the caves, living underneath Mandalore, because it also brings up the point of, like, dragons hoard things of great value, especially... Like gold s- in the real world. Yeah. But... Beskar. So... If this happens, we have the potential for a Beskar hoard of not just the raw material, but swords, armor, helmets, like anything you can think of. There could be like a full armory down there, right? Yes. And on top of that, one of my favorite things about like the lore of dragons is that they are unbelievably smart. Yeah. 
but they get bored, right? They live for an extended period of time. Like a lot longer They're than solitary humans. creatures. So they think it's funny when lesser beings try to like interact with them or try to do whatever, right? They're just in their presence. Yeah. So we already know that Grogu has this kind of like telepathy or this um, animal friendship or whatever you want to call it that he can communicate with animals like telepathically, right? Yeah. yeah. So what if Grogu tames the mythosaur like the way he did with the rancor yeah like yeah. there are things or there are little moments that have happened yeah. that it would make sense to lead up to this yeah. huge moment and the and what i was going for with the dragon is like they think it's like entertaining right so if yeah. this little teeny tiny little frog <laughs> like walked up to this mythosaur and looked him right in the like, eye like hit the mythosaur exhaling through its nose yeah, like, would <laughs> knock him down yeah literally yeah. and grogu just being like hi so we want to help you take back mandalore do you want to form an alliance and then the dragon being like i guess got nothing else better to do yes <laughs> yeah and then they like high five and then they jump on and they ride out of there. And then Bo's spring. like, huh? <laughs> and the armor is yeah. like, huh? Well, he took his helmet off, so it doesn't count. Bo Katana's going to be so jealous. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Well, look. She's going to be like, oh, Manto. Hey, How you fat been? Picture. Fat picture, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you need a queen? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Perhaps, perhaps. Hey, uh, I would not be fucking opposed to. That'd be an iconic duo, right? I mean, first. she's like a cougar at this point, but <laughs> <laughs> who cares? You heard it here first, folks. Um, Eric Hill does not. It's not against a fan fiction. <laughs> Book it dead. I, I'm not opposed <laughs> to it being canon. <laughs> not the make fan it happen. Fiction. Make it happen. Uh, so no, no, no. But another point of what you were saying about how dragons in our mythology hoard gold and gems and all that is i think it's very possible and this might be something that i that is part of mythosaur lore that i'm not really sure of mm. but i am not opposed to the idea of the mythosaur hoarding beskar mm -hmm. right yeah. because if this prediction is true this idea is true and Din finds a mythosaur. He's not only finding the last remaining mythosaur, which is an incredible like sign for the Mandalorian people. A That's symbol. like an omen. It's an omen. Yeah. Right? Not only that, but if he finds it and finds its lair and finds yeah. like... <laughs> countless like a trillion like, dollars worth of best car more like a lot <laughs> yeah right that fixes the issue of like mandalore can be back yeah they, like, have, the they have the resources they need they have the, the like power the bud, like they have money they, they, yeah. they're back like the yeah. planet can be fully funded because they're in a position where they can't go back because the empire stripped the planet of its resources, of all its, all of its Beskar. And they talk about that again in season one when Paz Vizsla is like talking shit to Mando because he's like, these were uh, forged in an Imperial smelter. Yeah. And he's like talking about how the Empire took all of the Beskar. Yeah. And that Mandalorians are looking for scraps. Yeah. Right? Like one piece of armor at a time. So yeah. not only does Mando have the Darksaber, but he... <laughs> Is riding a fucking mythosaur. <laughs> yeah. And not only that, but he is the new appointed, you know, Mandalore the let's call him Mandalore the Uniter. Yeah. Or the the whatever you want to call it, right? Because mm -hmm. they name them based on their, you know, what their significance do. and yeah. what you know what they did. So let's say it's Mandalore, Mandalore the sexy. The <laughs> Mandalore the daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> there, I mean, I don't know much of the lore for the Mandalorians, but that you mentioned caves. There's usually stuff carved within them, no? 
Oh yeah. There could be. That's true. We could yeah. see like so, we could see an like ancient Mandalorian history. cave drawings mm. of the ancient like Tong uh yeah. species. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. That's really cool. Dude. Oh to to finish my thought, not only does he have the dark saber and is now riding a fucking mythosaur, <laughs> but now as the new leader of Mandalore, he's like we're back, baby. Like, we're we're rich. We can fund. Yeah. Like, not like, oh, we're, you know, fucking making yeah. a ring. Yeah. But like, <laughs> you know, like. We're not uh, going to go extinct like, anymore. Yeah, like a country or a planet. Yeah. They need funding. They need yeah. that yeah. wealth of a nation to prevail. Especially yeah. if they're going to rebuild Mandalore. Especially yeah. if they're going to rebuild. Dooku yeah. money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> dooku <money. laughs> that Dooku money. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, but you know what I mean? So yeah. that. The, on that on top of it makes it like i feel like this is gonna okay, happen but what's also crazy is imagine like imagine how many pirates how many smugglers how many warlords would oh show up to mandalore God. like oh you have a bajillion dollars worth of beskar well i'm gonna steal one percent of that and, and it's just gonna be like Endgame Look, maybe, on Mandalore. Maybe that's what we're watching in the trailers. Maybe that's the Mandalorians coming back to Mandalore, proclaiming Din as the new Mandalore. Yeah. Because he's There's done There's too all of many this. things to and like not give him. The it whole... attracts, you know, all kinds of people of course, to Mandalore, and course. they have to defend their homeland. Dude, all Brat. the Mandalorians returning to Mandalore to defend Mandalore. Shit. Mandalore. I oh, I think the fight scene better be I think like is... Dragon Ball Z shit. Like it better last three straight <laughs> episodes yeah, yeah, yeah. or some shit. Yeah. I think it will. I think shit is gonna go down for yeah. sure this season. And even if this doesn't happen, I don't care. I won't yeah. be mad. I just think this is a really yes, potentially outlandish idea, mm-hmm. but I you still know, think it makes fucking sense. It makes sense. We're it not crazy sense. to I'm think this. I'm not crazy this to think happen. this, so don't fucking look at me and tell me I'm crazy. But <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> um, if not, we will write the fan fiction and we'll share it with you. Yeah, yeah, it'll be awesome. We'll do it. Yeah, look at me and tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up, bro. Grow up. No, yeah. Um, no, I I think it's very possible. Yeah. I, it may be out there, but like, I think if we're it's talking very, about very possible. Mandalorian culture at its core. Everything we talked about is that, like the Mythosaur, the, the Beskar, Beskar, the Dark Saber, the Dark Saber. Like fighting for honor, fighting for glory, uniting the people. Yeah. Like going it, back, it's, like it's literally going back to their roots. Yeah. They're yeah. going back to their home planet. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Reclaiming Mandalore, rebuilding Mandalore. Yeah. And not just from like, oh, we're going to try. No, it's like we're fucking back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mandalore's back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and what if? Ding, what if? Ding, ding, ding. What if? That Beskar that they find is what they make Grogu's armor out of. Dubby. Yes. And it's got a fucking like mythosaur skull, like. Got like a. Like a, like a, like a horn. That would be sick. That'd be sick. I hope he has like a mohawk, like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like metal as fuck. Yeah. All has like. Um, Small horns, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's tiny. He's yeah, like, <laughs> you try to step on me, I'll go straight through your foot. Bro, imagine Grogu with a jetpack. <gasps> unstoppable. unstoppable. He literally would be unstoppable. All right, but yeah, all right. So, Anyways. moving on that from this, we're getting off killer. topic. <laughs> moving on from this, I want to know who we think saves Grogu because we're gonna, we're totally yeah. gonna see that this season. They already teased. They give us Order sixty six scene at every opportunity. Exactly. So. Grogu, we're gonna see who like Yeah, who we saved have to him, see right? him, yeah. So originally we thought we'll do Huh? we we'll do Well that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking okay. about. So it's possible my initial theory, and I still think it's a very strong theory, is that Mace Windu saved Grogu. Right? Mm-hmm. So um Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> um so yeah my initial theory was and i think it's still a very strong theory is that mace windu saves grogu from the jedi temple and i think it makes sense because first of all 
Mace Windu's too fucking OP to just die being thrown out of a window. Yeah. Right? Like, we don't see his death. Yes. Yeah. And I don't exactly remember where, and I will pull up receipts if I find it, I promise. <laughs> but I remember hearing that George Lucas himself said that Mace Windu does not die. Oh. After being thrown out of the window. Right? Oh, okay. And I posted a TikTok about this a oh, while ago, remember. and that was like... Yeah, a while ago. Like it was like two years ago. Two years ago. Um, posted a TikTok about this. It's actually the pinned one <laughs> on my account. So if you're going to watch it, uh, want to go watch it, watch it. But pretty much to sum it up, I don't think he died, right? But since he did not die, what I think happened is he gets thrown out the window, lands. Even if he's passed out, I think he wakes up and realizes... It's all over. I mean, he could have landed on a speeder. He could have landed on a speeder. Well, like I mean, we see Anakin literally free fall for fun. Well, not even oh, Anakin. Also, leave think, Anakin. Leave I Anakin out of it, right? I saw a side by side shot on the micro series. Yeah, Clone that's Wars. what I'm talking about. That's what literally he does. Like, by the way, whoever the fuck stole that, I literally made that a a, tw- a tweet. Yeah. And it was a, like they just completely stole my caption, my the clip that I put, everything. No credit. Really? Yeah. And it went fucking viral when they posted it. Right. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Not like I care. Water, water, crap out of it. What, a, dude? I did. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that specific scene from the micro series, yeah. fucking Windu, went fucking off, <laughs> went off, fucking yeah. free falls onto a vulture droid, <laughs> fucking pulls its wires and it's like flying it around. He sur- he fucks shit up. Yeah. Yeah. The only difference is he lost a hand, got zapped out of a window, but he's <laughs> like the second most powerful, most powerful Jedi, Jedi yeah. in the council. Yeah. There's no way he died. Right? There's no way he died. So I think it's definitely possible that they listened and they said, okay, let's give him a story after the fall from the window, right? He lands, <sighs> wakes up or, you know, comes to and he's like, fuck. It's over. Yeah. He can feel all the Jedi dying. He yeah. knows that Anakin has just betrayed them and he's the new apprentice and that Palpatine... He is knows everything. He knows everything. <laughs> yeah. It's all going down and he can yeah. feel it. Yeah. So I think that Grogu's existence was probably a big secret. Or maybe not. Even if it wasn't a secret, he's one of the only... He's, it's, it was Yoda... And Grogu. That's it. Mm-hmm. Of that species. Well, yeah. yeah. That, well, she's dead. Well, yeah, she got oh, at that point, you're right. At that right. point, she's dead. Yeah. That's it. It was Yoda and Grogu. And who... Uh, uh, of course, Yoda would have known about Grogu. Yeah. He would have known, hands down. That and, and he probably even had a hand in his training or, you know, raising him or whatever. He's the baby daddy, so... <laughs> Pro- my theory the, is that the he, was, he was he's yeah. the baby dad my, that's also part of my theory but that is not relevant to this but <laughs> either way even if he's not the dad or even if it's literally a clone of Yoda I don't know who knows but he came from somewhere and he was at the Jedi temple Yoda would have known and if Mace was Yoda's right hand Mace would have known too yeah so if Mace comes to and he can feel all the Jedi dying. He can feel what's going on in the temple and all over the galaxy. He knows this is the end for the Jedi. Yeah. Right? He's This is the end for the Jedi. I'm going to go and save the best possible... Um, like the best possible... Like... Chance. Of- chance for the Jedi to survive. Yeah. Which is the baby of this species that lives for a thousand years. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah. That is already being taught as a Jedi. Mm -hmm. So I think that's exactly what happened. I think that that's what he thought. He said, I'm going to go to the temple, save him, get him out of there because he's the best chance for the Jedi to survive. Mm -hmm. Right? So I think he went back to the temple, went, got Grogu, and dipped. Mm-hmm. Because first of all, lost his lightsaber, lost his hand. He's fucked up. Yeah. He got electrocuted, thrown yeah. out the window. I'm not <laughs> yeah. saying he's just peachy. He's definitely fucked up. I think he could have done that and then like 
a few maybe hours yeah. or days later succumb to his injuries. I think so too. Yeah. I, th- I think he could have died right after. Um, yeah. But I, I think it's a very strong theory that he saves Grogu. Like maybe he passes him off to someone else. Possi- possibly. Possibly. Like Death Star plans, but Grogu. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what do we have? Hope. And then they're like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're playing hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> like this? This? Yeah. This what? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I think it's very possible that it was him. Um, like, there are a lot of... Because, like, that makes sense. Because, right, if there's, like, secret passageways in the Jedi Temple... He would there's know. like, Yeah, there's, like... He would know they all had, of the secrets. They had to have, like, evacuation plans or exactly. something, right? Like... Exactly. They were very naive, but I feel like they would at least know, like, hey, there's this tunnel that leads from blah, 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 to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, like... Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. I, I think... I that's, think that's crazy. I think that's the strongest theory, honestly. Yeah. Um. Uh, either that or Jar Jar saved them. Oh, my God. Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who is the... I've heard people talk about the Jedi Master that's in the clip from the last mando trailer he has like a ponytail i think oh he's the he's the one that we um so in the hollow recordings that obi-wan sees when anakin is killing everyone killing everyone yeah that's the jedi that anakin is fighting oh that's him. okay so and that the, is important and the other yeah. three jedi uh-huh. are also the jedi that he's like one of them he's just holding their hand that's holding the light their lightsaber He's holding them like that and just pulling them. And then with this hand, he's fighting that guy. Oh, shit. You watch, like, yeah. we can watch it. I, I, I don't know how long it'll take me to pull up, but. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's then who it is. I think he's, is he the one that trains the younglings? Or not necessarily. He's just like um, a Jedi master. I, I think he's a I mean, he could be. A, a, I don't really remember. Because, like, Grogu would be with the younglings, right? He, w- he would or, be with the younglings. And um, he's getting homeschooled, probably. He's yeah, but <laughs> but that guy dies. We watch him die. Okay. Like we know he died. So Grogu's probably not there. But in the vision, we see it like how, when we see his first vision in season two, Grogu's vision. Grogu's vision with Luke. Yeah. Or, I don't know if that was season two. I think it was Book of Boba. Where, when he's in yeah, like Grogu's the backpack. Vision. And and yeah, and that, and and we see. That's kind of how he has the vision. And mm-hmm. from like that point, like he's lower, you know? Yeah. So, and is looking up and that is how that scene in the trailer looks. So we could very well see Anakin again. Oh, for sure. I think we're going to see I, him. We're, we're definitely going yeah. to. Um, speaking of Padawans and so he would, he would definitely be with the, you know, the Padawans. Yeah. Um, I was I know I was joking about Jar Jar, but what? doesn't uh doesn't Ahmed play a Jedi? Yeah. Like didn't they give him like a he's like a Jedi. Jedi Temple Yeah, from the Jedi Temple Challenge. challenge. <laughs> um, Jedi Temple Challenge. <laughs> Save Grogu. <laughs> Save Grogu. Um <laughs> Ahmed Best Jedi. I watched like the first episode. It was fun, but it's like very much for kids. Yeah. Uh, it's like that show you really like from Nickelodeon way back. The, um, like the the temple. Oh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just it's like that, that, but like Star Wars. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like yeah. a kids' competition. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. They have like little puzzles or so, like little obstacle courses. Ooh. Yeah. So Ahmed is he? He's like the host, but he's yeah. like a Jedi master who is training Sick. younglings. Dude, and that would be crazy. Yo. He trains younglings. <gasps> wait, 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 no wait, way. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 is that, his name is not, like, his real name is Ahmed Best, but what's the character's name? It was like, um, wait, 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 something Beck. Stop moving. Uh, the, I just saw it. Trailer, Go down. Would, on the trailer, he would say, Kelleran Beck. Yeah, 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 that's it. Like, Keller, Kelleran Beck. Okay, look it up. Kelleran Beck. Okay. Oh, here we go. Does he have a Wikipedia? He should. Come on. Back. Wikipedia Jedi Master. Why is this Facebook? What the, what the hell? Well, go click right there. I don't know why it's on the right. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Caleron Be Beck, nicknamed the Sabred Hand, was a human male Jedi master who served in the Jedi Order. He was often assisted by the Protocol Droid 83 and Astromech Droid LXR5, uh, and served aboard uh, served aboard the starship Ath Ath Athelia. Okay. Uh, Kelleron Beck was a Jedi Master who supervised Padawans as they went through their Jedi trials. He was assisted by the Protocol Droid 83 and the Astromech. Beck had found memories of his Jedi trials and earned the nickname Sabred Hand during his time as a Padawan. Okay. Okay. Um, Kelleron Beck was a, okay, a human male. Uh, halfway through his lifespan while Beck was on friendly terms with his servant okay I keep talking about the droids it's just the same thing the over same thing and over and over he was skilled with lightsabers okay earning the nickname as Jedi Beck was able to use the force which he used to levitate rocks Beck could also communicate with the force I don't know what that means okay behind the scenes maybe this is the uh, Kelleran Beck is a character created for Star Wars Jedi Temple Challenge. He's portrayed by Ahmed Best, who also portrayed Jar Jar Binks. In an, okay. uh, in an interview with Anthony Carboni and the Star Wars show, Best stated that the show... Um, this is just behind-the-scenes stuff. But yeah, yeah, he works with uh, with Padawans. Yeah. He works with Padawans. Yo, what if they... What if he saved Grogu? <laughs> if... If Jar Jar say, I mean not Jar Jar, but Kelly like, Rambeck, because I mean the only thing possible. he's been in, the only thing he's been in right now is the Jedi Temple Challenge, which is you know a fun show. It's just kind of like a game show, but he hasn't yeah. been in anything. But hey, he like assists. He supervises the Padawans as they're going through their Jedi trials. So yeah. it's totally possible. Yeah, <laughs> it's totally. It, possible. I mean, anything is possible. If Maul came back, <laughs> yeah. We could make, we could make this. Happen. I'm just saying is that <laughs> I would love that. Because look, then this would be really cool. Because then he would actually have a role like in universe. Like he does have a role in universe, but like he would have a role like in the canon storyline. Yeah. And not only that, but like he's the Jedi that saves Grogu. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's a that's a pretty big deal. Dude. That'd be really cool. I, yeah. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it at all. Um, um honestly any, of, anything could happen in season happen. three like because honestly he's he works with padawans because look all i'm saying is this is this could be a strong theory because yes i would love to see mace be it but you know how people are with oh like they keep be bringing dead. people back yeah. from the dead and all that this is a brand new character yeah. A brand new character that has only gotten like um screen time on like, you know, the YouTube channel mm -hmm. with the Jedi Temple challenge. And uh yes, it's fun, but like, you know, how many people really watch that is mostly yeah. kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I watched the first like two, three episodes, but and it's fun. Yeah. But it's a little repetitive. It's more for kids. Yeah. But I think if, I, I think this could be cool, and if they brought him like into the story like that, imagine the redemption. Yeah, you know, people gave him so much shit, which was not warranted, was no. not at all. We stand okay. Jar Jar. In we this stand house. Jar Jar in this house. Now imagine Kelleron Beck saving Grogu. That'd be so cool. We'll That'd see. We'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> I'm here for it. If it happens, you heard it here first. Um. But if not him, then, like, who, though? You know what I mean? Yeah. Starkiller. Starkiller. Starkiller, get out of here. Um, I mean, it, I, it would probably... Also, a strong theory was... Um, oh, my gosh. Uh, fucking... L Luminara's... Barris? Barris. Barris Afi. Barris is a strong... Uh, theory i've heard that one I've heard that one that could be really cool um but i don't know because we don't know what happened to her so it's possible yeah we have like literally we have no idea it could literally just be some random jedi we've never heard of ever that gets him out and then dies but like grogu gets to safety like you know 
Yeah. It could be like a super well-known Jedi or it could be a never heard of them Jedi. Like there's exactly anything could happen. No, yeah, exactly. I just I love the idea of it being yeah, a med cuz that that'd be really cool. He's awesome. Is this I on the screen? Him. No, go for it. Yeah, I put it. Let's see him. In all his glory. That's super blurry. Okay. <laughs> um Where is he? Boom. Those are his droids. Yeah, yeah, those are the droids. That's cool. Oh, it's a totally because like I mean, it kind him. of it kind of could make sense that like him and the two droids or him and one of the droids escape with the baby, right? Yeah, like totally. to have someone that's like doing the technical stuff or like getting a ship ready or whatever, and he, you know what I mean? Like yeah, because look, I've I've watched when I watch the show, it's pretty much he's the Jedi Master that supervises the Padawans. Um, like doing their Jedi trials. Mm -hmm. So he like pretty much takes them. I don't think it's Ilum, but like they build their lightsaber. They find their crystal. They, you know, they, they're tempted by the dark side, but he teaches them to like reject it, you know? So it, it, it and it's in like a very game show type you yeah, know, that's setting, just, yeah, that's just but it it's supposed to be canon and it's supposed to be like part of the, like in universe. So, if Grogu, like, fought alongside him, would that technically be his trial? Would he be, like, knighted after that? Or is he too young I don't know, to be, like, Again, we don't know battle. because there's a theory that Grogu may have uh, had his memory wiped by whoever saved him. Okay. Like, like where we think he's a baby, because he looks like a baby, but he's 50 years old, so he could be... Like, right now he doesn't talk, but... He could be much older than he seems. Not in years. I mean, like, like in development. development. Okay. So he could have... Because he did train in the temple. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, did he, did he fight his way out of the temple with whoever was with him? I, I don't know because or that no. was also he's kind 20 of like, years before. So he's Grogu like in that backpack. by that time would have been thir like 30 years old. And in, and So that is baby that for is Grogu. That is baby for Grogu. So he is baby. It, okay. It's like he, <laughs> he is baby. He would have been like probably like a toddler. Okay. You know, so like still so like standing a behind whoever's like, <laughs> like helping. Like when guy. we yeah. when we see Yoda um, training the Padawans and they're like, yeah, like doing it's that like shit. T ball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like he was he could that is so okay. he would still definitely need someone to save him, like so, someone to help him get out of there. What if it's like, you know how Chewie like holds. 3PO and all his pieces and that little net. <laughs> what if it's like that? It's like it's a little Grogu. baby backpack. Yeah, just Grogu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Uh, no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it could be something like that. But um, I don't know. I think it makes total sense. I think, I don't know. Something's standing out to me that he works with Padawans. Yeah. He works with Padawans. He trains Padawans. And the other guy's dead. Like we know that like the guy that we see in the trailer? No, the... Yeah, the guy that you said was in the hollow recordings yeah, of Anakin. Yeah, like, we know he's dead. So he can't Anakin be the him, one yeah. that, like, saved... You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, okay, then who else? Yeah. No, no, no. Who exactly. else that we know exists? No, not... And I, I don't think they would just be like, this random Jedi, like, saved... Grogu. Yeah, Like, it's so significant. Think, it feels uh, like it needs to be a character that's already established. It's not Plo Koon. Plo Koon's fucking dead. Is not uh, Kit Fisto. It's not. I mean, it could be Mace. It very well could be Mace. Yeah. But I think there's a chance that them bringing him back could upset people, and they know that. Yeah, I don't think they want to do I, something I problematic. I personally don't care. I would love to see Mace back, yeah. and even if he just saves Grogu and then dies like a month later, that's fine with me. Yeah. But I think it's much more likely for them to bring some a character in like Kelleron Beck and where he saves Grogu, especially because he works with Padawans. Yeah. He helps the Padawan he he's the one that supervises like the Jedi Like That's trials. his job. That's his job. So if he's in the temple when Order Sixty Six happens, he is protecting the children. You know what it is? Remember that episode where we see the Padawans go to Ilum with uh Ahsoka? Yeah. And Yoda? Mm -hmm. Pretty much what Ahsoka was there to do that's Kelleron Beck's um, 
like that was his official position like permanent position. permanent position was yeah. like taking them through their trials to find their lightsaber crystal building their lightsaber like that is what he does okay and if he's if he is canon if and if his position is canon and like this whole storyline is canon then i think it's very fucking possible that Kelleran Beck saves grogu i mean med saves grogu that sounds like the and best I theory. I would <laughs> love that. I would absolutely <laughs> love seeing that. And seeing him get that kind of redemption in like the Star Wars uh community and yeah. the story. You know what I mean? Like not That'd that be really cool. Jar Jar does not need redemption. Jar Jar is fucking perfect. Um but like that would be you know, in the that would be of, special like, for him. Very special for him. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, because I know he's proud of Jar Jar. But I also know it brings him a lot of, like, hurt, you know? It's, yeah. He, it's I'm rough sure he for has him. very complicated, um, but mixed feelings about like, it. like, this is a character that I know he's proud of. You know, he's done a great job with Jedi Temple Challenge. Yeah, he had a lot of fun with exactly. that, I remember. He had a lot like, of fun with it. Yeah. And now imagine him having such a significant role to the point where he's the one that saves Grogu. That'd be really cool. I think that's fucking awesome. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I think that's... I think, we'll see. I think we'll 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 hold off on that. We've had some outlandish ideas all, like for our, We really have our the craziest Mando theories. Predictions. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone listening is like So unhinged. Okay, so they're gonna ride a mythosaur, Jar Jar saves Grogu <laughs> and what else what else was our theory? Oh my god. Uh Bo ends up with with, Mando. with Daddy Mando. Daddy Mando. Oh no no, it was uh Mandalore the Daddy. Mandalore the Daddy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sums up our Mando predictions. Just a chill week. Yeah, just a chill week. Oh my god! All right, we've well, officially lost our minds. We've lost it a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. Like I said, I think that's all the time we have. Uh, real quick, if you did not make it to your comic shop today, definitely do so. Or last week, because you're seeing this a week or, uh, later. But uh, Darth Vader number thirty-one came out. Uh, which is going to make us all cry. We already saw a preview. Yeah, I... Yeah. Yeah. I'm reading that as soon as we finish. <laughs> Hidden, Hidden Empire number three. Ooh. Look at that cover. Fucking beautiful. And High Republic number five. Nice. All out this week. Or, yeah. All out now. At the time of this recording. <laughs> they're out now. So yeah. go get them. Uh, but yeah. Um, thank you guys so so much for joining us thank you for uh putting up with our uh craziness <laughs> our, um how out of our minds we are <laughs> yeah but uh yeah we will uh, if there's anything you'd like to send us anything at all uh please go ahead and comment below if you're watching on youtube or shoot us an email at punch it podcast at gmail.com uh we're always checking those and uh yeah thank you so so much for watching for listening make sure to subscribe rate us review us all that fun stuff and we will see you next week bye, bye.